Anyway, let's try it. Let's try it again. Oh. I mean, sometimes it's great, and then sometimes it's just horrible. It's It really sucks. Like, sometimes it's... Sometimes it's good. Oh man, I'm so tired. I, I barely could sleep last night. Now the game's being weird. Oh, there we go. <laughs> that took forever. Okay. Um, so... Oops. It, like, defaults to decline. <laughs> That's nice. I have, to, I have to agree to everything again. That I didn't read. Um, I guess... Uh, what I would say is, perhaps... I'm more skeptical of this game than a lot of people are. Uh... Yeah, Peaches is um, pretty demanding. She wants to get up here like every five minutes. Um, you know, I'm a, a big fan of the original Dark Souls. I liked Dark Souls 3, uh, but less. Obviously, Dark Souls 2 uh, is kind of different, so it's really hard to exactly compare that. Um, and I've played some Bloodborne which I also like, but not enough to really make a judgment call on that game. And I really did not like Sekiro at all. Um, and I feel like generally these games have been on a trajectory that I don't like, that's moved away from the things that I liked about the first game and more towards being like uh, other twitchy, difficult action games that I don't like. So, um, So with that said... I'm somewhat skeptical of this game. But, you know. I'll check it out. Uh, pick, choose your... Oh, this is a slightly weird menu, I have to say. Okay. Unpolished menu, I would say. Uh, okay. I don't know exactly what these mean. I have no idea. I can play as a samurai, which is interesting. Uh, play as a naked person. Um, oh, that's helpful. So, I guess it's pretty much typical in that regard, in that your stats start flat if you pick the deprived or whatever version. Um, I don't know what that will mean. You never do in these types of games, which is kind of like a weird thing with this type of design, but you know, it is what it is, I guess. Uh, people gotta have numbers. Um, I actually found last time I played Dark Souls that it was easier if I picked the deprived class because at the start you Kind of, it's a little harder, but then as soon as you start leveling up, because everything starts at 10, versus other classes, you know, you have stuff that starts lower. Um, usually I just pick a warrior in these games, so I'm not going to think about it too much. I'm just going to pick that. Type A or Type B? Is that like... Is that like... <laughs> what does that mean? Does that mean male, flesh, female? <laughs> is that what we're saying? <laughs> what is that? I can't tell what this is. I'm so covered in robes, who knows? This looks like... This looks like... I... What? Oh, slender buff. Okay, it says here. It didn't say there. <laughs> Did it? I don't know. Whatever. It just said A and B. I'm like, what does that mean? <laughs> Alright, name. Uh, usually I just do garland in these games, so I'm gonna do that. Young. I need to be, uh... 
need to be old. Okay, I go over here and pick more things. Okay. Uh, let's see. Keepsake. Are these things increase maximum HP? Gain many runes. Okay, I don't know what runes are. Is that like souls? <laughs> Or sacred flasks, like Estus flasks. It's always got to be, like, slightly different. <laughs> um, this, this, those long screenshots could maybe be uh, shorts, but I honestly don't like YouTube shorts either, so. Let's try it again. Oh. I mean, sometimes it's great, and then sometimes it's just horrible. It's It really sucks. Like, sometimes it's... That's, that's what you get with... <clears throat> with the... Uh, cellular crap. Is sometimes it's good. Oh man, I'm so tired. I, I barely could sleep last night. Now the game's being weird. Oh, there we go. <laughs> that took forever. Okay. Um, so... Oops, it like defaults to decline. <laughs> That's nice. I have to I have to agree to everything again. That I didn't read. Um I guess uh what I would say is perhaps I'm more skeptical of this game than a lot of people are. Uh yeah, Peaches is um, pretty demanding. She wants to get up here like every five minutes. Um, you know, I'm a, a big fan of the original Dark Souls. I liked Dark Souls 3, uh, but less. Obviously, Dark Souls 2 uh, is kind of different, so it's really hard to exactly compare that. Um, and I've played some Bloodborne which I also like, but not enough to really make a judgment call on that game. And I really did not like Sekiro at all. Um, and I feel like generally these games have been on a trajectory that I don't like that's moved away from the things that I liked about the first game and more towards being like uh, other twitchy, difficult action games that I don't like. So, um, So with that said... I'm somewhat skeptical of this game. But, you know. I'll check it out. Uh, pick, choose your... Oh, this is a slightly weird menu, I have to say. Okay. Unpolished menu, I would say. Uh, okay. I don't know exactly what these mean. I have no idea. I can play as a samurai, which is interesting. Uh, play as a naked person. Um, oh, that's helpful. So, I guess it's pretty much typical in that regard, in that your stats start flat if you pick the deprived or whatever version. Um, I don't know what that will mean. You never do in these types of games, which is kind of like a weird thing with this type of design, but you know, it is what it is, I guess. Uh, people gotta have numbers. Um, 
I actually found last time I played Dark Souls that it was easier if I picked the Deprived class because at the start you kind of, it's a little harder, but then as soon as you start leveling up, because everything starts at 10, versus other classes, you know, you have stuff that starts lower. Um, usually I just pick a warrior in these games, so I'm not going to think about it too much. I'm just going to pick that. Type A or Type B? Is that like... Is that like... What does that mean? Does that mean male flesh female? <laughs> is that what we're saying? <laughs> what is that? I can't tell what this is. I'm so covered in robes, who knows? This looks like... This looks like... I... What? Oh, slender buff. Okay, it says here. It didn't say there. <laughs> Did it? I don't know, whatever. It just said A and B. I'm like, what does that mean? <laughs> Alright, name. Uh, usually I just do Garland in these games, so I'm gonna do that. Young. I need to be, uh... I need to be old. Okay, I go over here and pick more things. Okay. Uh, let's see. Keepsake. Are these things increase max HP? Gain many runes. Okay, I don't know what runes are. Is that like souls? <laughs> or sacred flasks like Estus flasks? It's always gotta be like slightly different. <laughs> um, okay. I feel like this UI is a little bit unpolished, to say the least. Um, this text looks like it's kind of, like, going off the edge of this. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Alright, anyway. Um, I'm just gonna pick this, because that seems good. <laughs> Do I want to be buff or slender? <laughs> Can't really tell any difference with... Oh my gosh. <laughs> Neither of these would be what I would call buff. <laughs> okay. This is, this is male, female, but it says buff, slender, which is really weird. <laughs> They have the same face, which is what's really confusing. Okay, whatever. How ragged do I want to be? It doesn't really matter. I'm going to have a helmet on for most of the game. Um, I, don't, I don't remember... I think the character creator in Dark Souls 3 was, like, slightly better than the one in the first game. None of this really matters that much, so... What is this? I don't know. <laughs> We've got... Oh, this feels like this would be better to not use a controller for. I'm burning up in here, by the way. I'm gonna open the front door. <laughs> can't have some kind of consistent yeah the first game used like the same stuff that they used for for oblivion which is like hilarious because you can imagine somebody like playing oblivion being like we got to get the ice tech <laughs> it's like uh it was terrible there i don't know if i should just try to like like i would rather just do a random thing oh there is a thing there that's like uh, uh, switch by 10, it says. Okay. Oh my gosh, I'm dying. But I need to shed peaches again. She's been shedding a lot. Um, I don't know. Pick the random thing. They all look the same. Um, 
I think I'm not going to worry about that too much right now. <laughs> uh, if I if I hate hate myself, then uh, fair enough. Um, I don't know what online type things this game has. I've tended to never play these games online because uh, I don't really like the online features and I don't like playing with other people. But you know, I'll keep an open mind. I was supposed to. The great Elden Ring was shattered. In our home, across the fog, the lands between. I've got a cat here that's floating around and going into my nose. Annoyingly. So it's interesting that we have this super budge. Uh, intro <laughs> cutscene versus uh, most of these games, you know. Pretty much never really can fully pay attention to these things because they're like so slow and I also don't really understand any of it. <laughs> Interesting that uh that we've just got this uh war leading to abandonment. I don't know what you want to call this. Super budget. Oh, rise now, <laughs> ye tarnished, ye dead, who yet live. The call of long lost grace. Speaks to us all. Or alone. Yeah, I mean it's chieftain of the badlands. <laughs> like I, I don't have a reason to care at this point. So. Anyway, hello bad player eating yeah, hands. The dung eater. So easily forgotten. <laughs> this, uh, this voice actor reading these lines is really trying hard to make this exciting. <laughs> so, I know the game's gonna launch at 4K because this text is definitely 4K. Um, but that's probably not good to run it at. <laughs> so I'll have to drop it down. Yeah, you have to get that. You have to get the Disney. Cross that fog. Almost rhymes. And become the Elden Lord. All right, all right. Get on with it already. <laughs> Hopefully, my uh, GPU fan doesn't like fall out. <laughs> I ordered like some new fans because my 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 fan kept falling out, but. Um, They, they don't show up till tomorrow, probably. New the ring. Why? Okay. Okay. It is me. All right. Let me uh, let me uh, drop this to like 1080p because 
I know there's no way in hell that it's gonna run at 4K reasonably. There's just no way. So... Oh, that's actually... Oh my god! <laughs> Why? Why does it have to be this way? Alright, let's, uh... Let's just try to... Why doesn't it snap? Oh, it's at, like... What is going on here? That's weird. It's like, doesn't quite fit. Let's see, transform. Fit to screen. There we go. What is that? Does that look okay? Oh yeah, I mean, it is, it is just another Souls game. Um, let there be Elden Ring. Okay, thanks bro. I would have streamed at 60 if I'd known it would run at 60, but hopefully the 30 looks okay. God, I just hate the online stuff. It's so distracting, and it, it there's no point to it as far as I'm concerned. But whatever. That's just me. <laughs> People have to have their online stuff. This is, like, a little too dark. You know, they gave me that brightness adjust thing earlier, but I was kind of like, well, I don't really want to... Adjust that. Let's see. How's that look? Yeah, it looks better. Oh! Okay, that was a hitch. Uh, I think I'm a warrior. I've got some, like, thingies, though. Hidden path ad, really? No, there isn't. <laughs> okay. I guess let's open this door. We got a compass. That might come in handy later. Chapel of Anticipation. Well, we're not really anticipating, are we? We're just, we're just playing this now. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna turn this online off. I'm sorry. No, this is not. This is not what we want. I don't like blood stains. They're annoying. Um, people want to watch somebody play this online. Actually, I don't know if you can just go offline without like relaunching it, can you? I don't want to do that. Well, we'll go with it for now. Fine. So, there's a big giant tree. That's nice. Uh, there is some fog and possibly ocean, it looks like. Probably hard to tell on stream, but that's what it looks like to me. To me. <laughs> See, this is why I don't want to play it online. <laughs> John. Oh, okay. Yeah. You know that. If somebody called out of work today to play a video game, it was this game. Okay, let's move along. But yeah, the problem is, like, I can't tell whether these things are important or not, and they are, like, not most of the time. So, stupid ghosts. Stupid online crap. Yeah, I may have to cap it at 30, because... Try jumping off! <laughs> See, the trolling is in full force. Well, I'm fast rolling, for sure. So, the fact that this... I will say, if you haven't played any of these other games, Mike... Sekiro is very different. This is very similar to Dark Souls immediately. Um, Sekiro is very different. Here! We build here! Uh-oh. Oh, okay. You don't know why. Okay. Somebody died here. People will always die. Behold. Tree. 
won't be Breath of the Wilding some trees in this one. Okay. Yeah, I don't know if they can, if they have the cap at three. Exactly, Dark Souls. It's close. There's nothing wrong with that to me. I happen to like Dark Souls. And I didn't particularly like Sekiro. Well, I'm almost dead. Oh, that's appropriate. <laughs> okay. Splash. I'm looking at a black screen. It's not just you. Dark Soils. Looks like it was supposed to die. Which doesn't surprise me, because that boss was doing literally so much damage. Uh, I guess they're probably trying to set some anticipation that, like, later I'm going to come back and fight whatever that dude was. <laughs> that would be my guess. Those are some... Uh, some slightly jank horse foot animations. Goat horse. Don't worry, Torrent. Fortune is on her side. Torrent? That's what a lot of people are going to do to this game. <laughs> I guess they've got that, uh, they probably got Denuvo on her or something, but. Oh, that's fine. Right there. <laughs> Everybody's talking about it. Um. Yeah, like. I don't know. Like, I understand the the desire that they always have to put these intro things at the start of the game even even though this one was like super low budget even compared to the first Dark Souls um but don't you love that we still don't we still don't have like smooth transitions out of cutscenes it's still like the same jank okay I got a flask of cerulean tears a flask of crimson tears god only knows what those means why is it always dead Yeah, don't look so good. Brave tarnished, take the plunge of learning and remembrance. Recall the arts of war in your warrior's blood. He has no voice. Okay, am I supposed to jump down? It is super dark in here. Why is it always defeat? Okay. Okay. So dark. Can't see anything. Don't give up, skeleton. Oh, God. I'm gonna not go the dark way, because that's pretty dark. He wants me to drop off this, this old man. I'm scared he's trolling me, though. So here's some kind of weird tree. This tree looks like a hologram. It's weird. Oh, God. Oh, my God. <laughs> this game's got some, uh... Some loading stutters, to say the least. Not quite streaming in smoothly on this PlayStation 5 of mine, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> this 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 here homemade PlayStation 5. <laughs> well, to be fair, I knew I was playing on a men's back. So Alright. Touch Grace. Freak out and touch Grace. literally state-of-the-art. It definitely doesn't have like a 
eight-year-old GPU in it or something, because which still goes for three hundred and fifty dollars. <laughs> Pastime, flask, memorize spells, sword chest, leave. Well, at the moment I don't really have any opinion about that. Okay. Oh, I can jump. That's interesting. I didn't notice that. Use stone sword key. Yes. No stone sword key in inventory. Okay. I guess that's nice. Pillage remains. Use tarnished spurled finger to write a gold summon sign. Cooperative multiplayer begin once you've summoned a. You've been summoned by a player from another world. Okay, so. Uh, I never really do that. That's like the only thing that I could see myself maybe wanting to do was like help other players. Um. I don't really, I'm not really interested in, like, fighting other players and stuff, but. Okay. Finger severer. Let's smash some pots. So I can't go through here for some reason that is unbeknownst to me. Is this like a fog gate, but like it's one way or something? Interesting. I can jump. I can jump in this game. Now, as long as I don't have a grapple hook, um, then uh, it shouldn't break the game. <laughs> step on that yet. I need to poke around. Hidden path ahead. There's no hidden path. These people are trolling. Okay, well, it doesn't look like there's anything else to do, so let's go up. Yeah. I mean, I've got the screen door, so I can at least do that. Keep birds out and cats in. I said something about if jumping existed, it would be weird on Dark Souls. No, what I said was that they put jumping in Sekiro, and uh, it ruined Dark Souls, in my opinion. But it wasn't just jumping, it's the, the grappling hook and all that stuff. I just, I don't like it. I don't think it works. Like, it's cool and all, but... It's just, I mean, it's fine, right? Whatever. People like that game, so who am I to judge? But it's it's just, it's a different game, so. So that's a nice reveal, isn't it? They're like, hey, look, we're out here. Now we are out in the definitely running at 30 frames per second when we look that way. Open world. Okay. Can I, I really wish I could just lock. Can I lock? Knowing them, probably no. Yeah. Knowing them, probably no. I'll have to do it in, like, the GPU settings. Oh, well. Whatever. <laughs> you bet your sweet Elden Ring. I mean, for like a, you know, for a more open world thing like this one is, you kind of need jumping, because sometimes you're going to have to Skyrim on th off of things, or up things, or whatever. Um, we'll see how that plays out. Everything's got to be open world nowadays. Um, but, tell they uh they slammed all the geometry in that direction because that's well maybe you can't tell because it probably looks the same but for me that this direction is where the frame rate really shits the bed and then this direction's fine <laughs> they were really like wanted to wow you i guess hey look it's a red glowy Is it gonna be like that, eh? Is it gonna be like that, eh? Let me, uh... Let me, uh... I 
I mean, it's it's on like auto detect, so you'd think it would like tweak that. I can lower it, but in any case, um, sorry. Uh, what was I gonna say? Okay, I was just gonna make sure that it was offline. I'm gonna like relaunch the thing anyway. I don't know why it takes so long to close. It's kind of weird. Anyway, hello, Choose the Force. Uh, yeah, it's on high quality. I guess that's just what it picked. It uh, definitely... I think I can run it at 30, but I'm going to go set... Um, yeah, sorry about this being, like, this corner of my screen, but it was, it was being weird. I'll probably have to reset it again. Um, okay. Yeah, I had to call all the destructors. That's what I was thinking. Um, so. Do I do max frame rate or do I do... How does this work? Yeah, I think we do this half re refresh. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. That should work. I'd rather, I'd rather, if I can hit 30, just play it at 30, uh, than having it go up and down, like, depending on which direction I'm looking. Oh, let's hope that this, uh, I don't have to rescale the thing, but I probably will, again, have to rescale it. Because it was, like, fine until I adjusted the resolution. Uh, From Software's games have always been weird about, like, the capture coming in as at the wrong resolution. I guess I'm doing a mainstreaming thing instead of And now it's now it's in the corner for me. Let's hope it actually fills the screen. <laughs> <laughs> nope. It's not it's not doing it. It's just it's sitting in the corner of my screen. <laughs> Let's try clicking this, maybe it'll do it. No? Oh oh there we go. Full screen. Full screen, guys. I know it's hard. <laughs> uh, Microsoft makes it basically impossible, but... Okay. Let's get back into this. The festering bloody finger. Ew. I don't want a festering bloody finger. Get away from me with that. Okay. Yeah, now we're, now we're fixed at 30. It's a bit more input laggy, but I guess that's kind of to be expected, right? Okay. I feel like it changed my uh, settings now. Did not. Everything's set to high. Whatever. Oh yeah, let's go try to get that now. <laughs> it was like right when I hit the button. It went like disconnect. And then it kicked me out. Uh maybe it won't do that now because I went offline. Okay. Crafting, because of course we gotta have crafting. Roa fruit. More like Galoa fruit, am I right? Am I right? Hey <laughs> narf. Can I kill these birds? Yeah. Light pinion. Nice, uh, nice ocean effects, I have to say. Whoa. That's interesting. Okay, so I can crouch. They don't really. They didn't really tell me any controls, so I'm just gonna fuck around. I did find out I could jump. So playing at this this at 30. God, I haven't played a, a Dark Souls game at 30 since I played. Um, the original Dark Souls back on the 360. Give me that glow of fruit. Row a row a row your boat. Reach out and touch grace. 
<laughs> okay. Let's see. Is there some kind of creeper over here. This is telling me that I should go that way. Map. Oh god. I somehow, I somehow still imagine that this is, wouldn't have a map. I don't know how that would function, but. Uh. <laughs> map frag. Map fragments. Why did I read that that way? Steals. Freely placed beacons of light. Okay. So yeah. They definitely played some Breath of the Wild, I guess. Who's this creeper? Aí o, o tonto que me hackeou colocou lá no meu Instagram, lá no post, lá no stories da vida. E depois ele começou a hackear o meu. Anyway, let's try it. Let's try it again. Oh. I mean, sometimes it's great, and then sometimes it's just horrible. It's It really sucks. Like, sometimes it's... That's, that's what you get with... <clears throat> with the... Uh, cellular crap. Is sometimes it's good. Oh man, I'm so tired. I I barely could sleep last night. Now the game's being weird. Oh, there we go. <laughs> that took forever. Okay. Um. So. Oops. It like defaults to decline. <laughs> That's nice. I have to I have to agree to everything again. But I didn't read. Um I guess uh what I would say is perhaps I'm more skeptical of this game than a lot of people are. Uh Yeah, Peaches is um pretty demanding. She wants to get up here like every five minutes. Um You know, I'm a, a big fan of the original Dark Souls. I liked Dark Souls 3, uh, but less. Obviously, Dark Souls 2 uh, is kind of different, so it's really hard to exactly compare that. Um, and I've played some Bloodborne, which I also like, but not enough to really make a judgment call on that game. And I really did not like Sekiro at all. Um, and I feel like generally... These games have been on a trajectory that I don't like, that's moved away from the things that I liked about the first game and more towards being like uh, other twitchy, difficult action games that I don't like. So, um, so with that said, I'm somewhat skeptical of this game. But, you know... I'll check it out. Uh, pick, choose your. Oh, this is a slightly weird menu. I have to say. Okay. Unpolished menu. I would say. Uh, okay. I don't know exactly what these mean. I have no idea. I can play as a samurai, which is interesting. Uh. play as a naked person. Um, oh, that's helpful. So, I guess it's pretty much typical in that regard, in that your stats start flat if you pick the deprived or whatever version. Um, I don't know what that will mean. You never do in these types of games, which is kind of like a weird thing with this type of design, but 
you know, it is what it is, I guess. Uh, people gotta have numbers. Um, I actually found last time I played Dark Souls that it was easier if I picked the Deprived class, because at the start, you kind of, it's a little harder, but then as soon as you start leveling up, because everything starts at 10, versus other classes, you know, you have stuff that starts lower. Um, usually I just pick a warrior in these games, so I'm not gonna think about it too much. I'm just gonna pick that. Type A or Type B? Is that like... Is that like... What does that mean? Does that mean male, flesh, female? <laughs> is that what we're saying? <laughs> what is that? I can't tell what this is. I'm so covered in robes, who knows? This looks like... This looks like... I... What? Oh, slender buff. Okay, it says here. It didn't say there. <laughs> Did it? I don't know. Whatever. It just said A and B. I'm like, what does that mean? <laughs> Alright, name. Uh, usually I just do Garland in these games, so I'm gonna do that. Young. I need to be, uh... I need to be old. Okay, I go over here and pick more things. Okay. Uh, let's see. Keepsake. Are these things increase maximum HP? Gain many runes. Okay, I don't know what runes are. Is that like souls? <laughs> are sacred flasks like Estus flasks? It's always gotta be like slightly different. <laughs> um Okay. I feel like this UI is a little bit unpolished, to say the least. Um, this text looks like it's kind of, like, going off the edge of this. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Alright, anyway. Um, I'm just gonna pick this, because that seems good. <laughs> Do I want to be buff or slender? <laughs> Can't really tell any difference with... Oh my gosh. <laughs> Neither of these would be what I would call buff. <laughs> okay. This is, this is male, female, but it says buff, slender, which is really weird. <laughs> They have the same face, which is what's really confusing. Okay, whatever. How ragged do I want to be? It doesn't really matter. Anyway, let's try it. Let's try it again. Oh. I mean, sometimes it's great, and then sometimes it's just horrible. It's It really sucks. Like, sometimes it's... That's, that's what you get with... <clears throat> with the... Uh, cellular crap. Is sometimes it's good. Oh man, I'm so tired. I, I barely could sleep last night. Now the game's being weird. Oh, there we go. <laughs> that took forever. Okay. Um, so... Oops. It, it like, defaults to decline. <laughs> That's nice. I have to I have to agree to everything again. But I didn't read. Um I guess uh what I would say is perhaps I'm more skeptical of this game than a lot of people are. Uh Yeah, Peaches is um pretty demanding. She wants to get up here like every five minutes. Um 
you know, I'm a, a big fan of the original Dark Souls. I liked Dark Souls 3, uh, but less. Obviously, Dark Souls 2 uh, is kind of different, so it's really hard to exactly compare that. Um, and I've played some Bloodborne, which I also like, but not enough to really make a judgment call on that game. And I really did not like Sekiro at all. Um, and I feel like generally these games have been on a trajectory that I don't like, that's moved away from the things that I liked about the first game and more towards being like uh, other twitchy, difficult action games that I don't like. So, um, so with that said, I'm somewhat skeptical of this game. But, you know... I'll check it out. Uh, pick, choose your, oh, this is a slightly weird menu, I have to say. Okay. Unpolished menu, I would say. Uh, okay. I don't know exactly what these mean. I have no idea. I can play as a samurai, which is interesting. Uh, play as a naked person. Um, oh, that's helpful. So, I guess it's pretty much typical in that regard, in that your stats start flat if you pick the deprived or whatever version. Um, I don't know what that will mean. You never do in these types of games, which is kind of like a weird thing with this type of design, but you know, it is what it is, I guess. Uh, people gotta have numbers. Um, I actually found last time I played Dark Souls that it was easier if I picked the Deprived class because at the start, you kind of, it's a little harder, but then as soon as you start leveling up, because everything starts at 10, versus other classes, you know, you have stuff that starts lower. Um, usually I just pick a warrior in these games, so I'm not gonna think about it too much. I'm just gonna pick that. Type A or Type B? Is that like... Is that like... What does that mean? Does that mean male flesh female? <laughs> is that what we're saying? <laughs> what is that? I can't tell what this is. I'm so covered in robes, who knows? This looks like... This looks like... I, what? Oh, slender buff. Okay, it says here. It didn't say there. <laughs> Did it? I don't know. Whatever. It just said A and B. I'm like, what does that mean? <laughs> Alright, name. Uh, usually I just do Garland in these games, so I'm gonna do that. Young. I need to be, uh... I need to be old. Okay, I go over here and pick more things. Okay. Uh... Let's see. Keepsake. Are these things increase maximum HP? Gain many runes. Okay, I don't know what runes are. Is that like souls? <laughs> <laughs> are sacred flasks like Estus flasks? It's always gotta be like slightly different. <laughs> um. Okay. I feel like this UI is a little bit unpolished, to say the least. Um, this text looks like it's kind of, like, going off the edge of this. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Alright, anyway. Um, I'm just gonna pick this, because that seems good. <laughs> Do I want to be buff or slender? <laughs> Can't really tell any difference with... Oh my gosh. <laughs> Neither of these would be what I would call buff. <laughs> okay. This is, this is male, female, but it says buff, slender, which is really weird. 
<laughs> they have the same face, which is what's really confusing. Okay, whatever. How ragged do I want to be? It doesn't really matter. I'm going to have a helmet on for most of the game. Um... I don't remember, I think the character creator in Dark Souls 3 was like slightly better than the one in the first game. None of this really matters that much, so. What is this? I don't know. <laughs> We've got, oh, this feels like this would be better to not use a controller for. I'm burning up in here, by the way. I'm gonna open the front door. <laughs> I can't have some kind of consistent yeah the first game used like the same stuff that they used for for Oblivion which is like hilarious because you can imagine somebody like playing Oblivion being like we gotta get this face tech <laughs> it's like, uh, it was terrible there. I don't know if I should just try to, like, like, I would rather just do a random thing. Oh, there is a thing there that's like, uh, uh, switch by 10, it says. Okay. Oh my gosh, I'm dying. I need to shed peaches again. She's been shedding a lot. Um, I don't know. Pick the random thing. They all look the same. Um, I think I'm not going to worry about that too much right now. <laughs> uh, if I, if I hate, hate myself, then, uh, fair enough. Um, I don't know what online type things this game has. I've tended to never play these games online, because uh, I don't really like the online features, and I don't like playing with other people. But, you know, I'll keep an open mind. I was supposed to. The great Elden Ring was shattered. In our home, across the fog, the lands between. I've got cat hair that's floating around and going into my nose. Annoyingly. So it's interesting that we have this super budge. Uh, intro <laughs> cutscene versus uh, most of these games, you know. Pretty much never really can fully pay attention to these things because they're like so slow and I also don't really understand any of it. <laughs> Interesting that uh that we've just got this uh war leading to abandonment. I don't know what you want to call this. Super budget. Oh, rise now. <laughs> Ye Ye dead who yet live. The call of long lost grace. Speaks to us all. Or 
yeah, I mean, it's... <laughs> like, I, I don't have a reason to care at this point, so... Anyway, hello, bad player, Amy. Saw you had to w sorry you had to watch Disney ads. The dung eater. So easily forgotten. <laughs> voice actor reading these lines is really trying hard to make this exciting. <laughs> so, I know the game's gonna launch at 4K because this text is definitely 4K. Um, but that's probably not good to run it at. <laughs> so I'll have to drop it down. Cross that fog. To stand before the Elden Ring. That almost rhymes. And become... Hopefully my uh, GPU fan doesn't like fall out. <laughs> I ordered like some new fans because my 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 fan kept falling out. But um They, they don't show up till tomorrow, probably. New the ring. Why? Okay. Okay. It is me. All right. Let me uh, let me uh, drop this to like 1080p because I know there's no way in hell that it's gonna run at 4K reasonably. There's just no way. So. Oh, that's actually. Oh my God. <laughs> Why? Why does it have to be this way? All right, let's uh, let's just try to. Why doesn't it snap? Oh, it's at like what is going on here? That's weird. It's like it doesn't quite fit. Let's see, transform. Fit to screen. There we go. What is that? Does that look okay? Oh yeah, I mean it is it is just another Souls game. Um, let there be Elden Ring. Okay, thanks, bro. Okay, I would have streamed at sixty if I'd known it would run at sixty, but hopefully the thirty looks okay. God, I just hate the online stuff. It's so distracting, and it, it there's no point to it as far as I'm concerned. But whatever, that's just me. <laughs> People have to have their online stuff. This is like a little too dark. You know, they gave me that brightness adjust thing earlier, but I was kind of like, well, I don't really want to adjust that. Let's see. How's that look? Yeah, it looks better. Oh! Okay, that was a hitch. Uh, I think I'm a warrior. I've got some, like, thingies, though. Hidden path ad, really? No, well, there isn't. <laughs> okay. I guess let's open this door. We got a compass. That might come in handy later. Chapel of Anticipation. Well, we're not really anticipating, are we? We're just... I'm just playing this now. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna turn this online off. I'm sorry. No, this is not. This is not what we want. I don't like blood stains. They're annoying. Um, people want to watch somebody play this online. Actually, I don't know if you can go offline without, like, relaunching it, can you? I don't want to do that. Well, we'll go with it for now. Fine. So, there's a big giant tree. That's nice. Uh, 
there is some fog and possibly ocean looks like probably hard to tell on stream but that's what it looks like to me to me <laughs> see this is why i don't want to play it online <laughs> Dear John. Oh, okay. Yeah. You know that. If somebody called out of work today to play a video game, it was this game. Okay, let's move along. But yeah, the problem is, like, I can't tell whether these things are important or not, and they are, like, not most of the time. So, stupid ghosts, stupid online crap. Yeah, I may have to cap it at 30, because... Try jumping off! <laughs> See, the trolling is in full force. Well, I'm fast rolling, for sure. So, the fact that this... I will say, if you haven't played any of these other games, Mike, Sekiro is very different. This is very similar to Dark Souls immediately. Um, Sekiro is very different. Here! We build here! Okay. Uh-oh. Oh, okay. You don't know why. Okay. Somebody died here. People will always die. Behold, tree. It won't be Breath of the Wilding some trees in this one. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know if they can, if they have you cap at thirty. Exactly, Dark Souls. It's close. There's nothing wrong with that to me. I happen to like Dark Souls. And I didn't particularly like Sekiro. Well, I'm almost dead. Oh, that's appropriate. <laughs> okay. Splash. I'm looking at a black screen. It's not just you. Dark Soils. Looks like I was supposed to die. Which doesn't surprise me, because that boss was doing literally so much damage. Uh, I guess they're probably trying to set some anticipation that, like, later I'm going to come back and fight whatever that dude was. <laughs> that would be my guess. Those are some... Uh, some slightly jank horse foot animations. Goat horse. Don't worry, Torrent. Fortune is on her side. Torrent? That's what a lot of people are going to do to this game. <laughs> I guess they've got that, uh, they probably got Denuvo on it or something, but. Oh, that's fine. Kind is sure to seek the Elden Ring. One of my kind. Even if it does violate the Golden Order. Well, I gotta seek this Elden Ring. I mean, what else am I gonna do? <laughs> Everybody's talking about it. Um. Yeah, like, I don't know, like, I understand the, the desire that they always have to put these intro things at the start of the game, even, even though this one was, like, super low budget, even compared to the first Dark Souls. Um, but, don't you love that we still don't, we still don't have, like, smooth transitions out of cutscenes, it's still, like, the same jam. Okay, I got a flask of cerulean tears. That's 
flask of crimson tears. God only knows what this means. Why is it always dead? This guy don't look so good. Brave tarnished. Take the plunge of learning and remembrance. Recall the arts of war in your warrior's blood. He has no voice. Okay, am I supposed to jump down? It is super dark in here. Why is it always defeat? Okay. Okay. So dark. Can't see anything. Don't give up. Skeleton. Oh, God. I'm going to not go the dark way because it's pretty dark. He wants me to drop off, this, this old man. I'm scared he's trolling me, though. So here's some kind of weird tree. This tree looks like a hologram. It's weird. Oh, God. Oh, my God. <laughs> this game's got some, uh... Some loading stutters, to say the least. Not quite streaming in smoothly on this PlayStation 5 of mine, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> this 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 here homemade PlayStation 5. <laughs> well, to be fair, I knew I was playing on a men's back. So Alright. Touch Grace. Freak out and touch Grace. literally state-of-the-art. It definitely doesn't have like a eight-year-old GPU in it or something because which still goes for $350. <laughs> Pastime. Flask. Memorize spell. Sword chest. Leave. Well, at the moment I don't really have any opinion about that. Okay. Oh, I can jump. That's interesting. I didn't notice that. Use stone sword key. Yes. No stone sword key in inventory. Okay. I guess that's nice. Pillage remains. Use tarnished spurled finger to write a gold summon sign. Cooperative multiplayer begin once you've summoned a you've been summoned by a player from another world. Okay, so. Uh I never really do that. That's like the only thing that I could see myself maybe wanting to do was like help other players. Um I don't really I'm not really interested in like fighting other players and stuff, but Okay. Finger severer. Let's smash some pots. So I can't go through here for some reason that is unbeknownst to me. Is this like a fog gate, but like it's one way or something? Interesting. I can jump. I can jump in this game. Now, as long as I don't have a grappling hook, um, then uh, it shouldn't break the game. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, that guy went up. I don't want to step on that yet. I need to poke around. Hidden path ahead. There's no hidden path. These people are trolling. Okay, well, it doesn't look like there's anything else to do, so let's go up. Yeah. I mean, I've got the screen door, so I can at least do that. Keep birds out and cats in. I said something about if jumping existed, it would be weird on Dark Souls. No, what I said was that they put jumping in Sekiro, and uh, it ruined Dark Souls, in my opinion. But it wasn't just jumping, it's the 
the grappling hook and all that stuff. I just, I don't like it. I don't think it works. Like, it's cool and all, but it's just, a, I mean, it's fine, right? Whatever. People like that game, so who am I to judge? But it's, it's just, it's a different game, so. So that's a nice reveal, isn't it? They're like, hey, look, we're out here. Now we are out in the definitely running at 30 frames per second when we look that way. Open world. Okay. Can I... I really wish I could just lock. Can I lock? Knowing them, probably no. Yeah. Knowing them, probably no. I'll have to do it in, like, the GPU settings. Oh, well. Whatever. <laughs> Elden Ring. I mean, for like a, you know, for a more open world thing like this one is, you kind of need jumping because sometimes you're going to have to Skyrim on th off of things or up things or whatever. Um, we'll see how that plays out. Everything's got to be open world nowadays. Um, but... Tell they uh they slammed all the geometry in that direction because that's well maybe you can't tell because it probably looks the same but for me that this direction is where the frame rate really shits the bed and then this direction's fine <laughs> they were really like wanted to wow you I guess hey look it's a red glowy Is it gonna be like that, eh? Is it gonna be like that, eh? Let me, uh... Let me, uh... I mean, it's, it's on, like, auto-detect, so you'd think it would, like... Tweak that, eh? I can lower it, but in any case... Um... Sorry, uh, what was I gonna say? Okay, I was just gonna make sure that it was offline. I'm gonna, like, relaunch the thing anyway. I don't know why it takes so long to close. That's kind of weird. Anyway, hello, Choose the Force. Uh, yeah, it's on high quality. I guess that's just what it picked. It, uh, definitely... I think I can run it at 30, but I'm gonna go set... Yeah, sorry about this being, like, this corner of my screen, but it was it was being weird. I'll probably have to reset it again. Um, okay. Yeah, I had to call all the destructors. That's what I was thinking. Um, so. Do I do max frame rate, or do I do... Yeah, I think we do this half re refresh. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. That should work. Um, I'd, rather, I'd rather if I can hit 30, just play it at 30, uh, than having it go up and down, like depending on which direction I'm looking. Oh, let's hope that this, uh, I don't have to rescale the thing, but I probably will. It was like fine until I adjusted the resolution. Uh, From Software's games have always been weird about like the capture coming in as, at the wrong resolution. I guess I'm doing a mainstreaming thing instead of. And now it's now it's in the corner for me. Let's hope it actually filled. <laughs> nope, it's not. It's not doing it. It's just it's sitting in the corner of my screen. <laughs> Let's try clicking this. Maybe it'll do it. Oh. oh, oh, there we go. Full screen. Full screen, guys. I know it's hard. <laughs> it's, uh, Microsoft makes it basically impossible, but... Okay. Let's get back into this. The festering bloody finger. 
you. I don't want a festering bloody finger. Get away from me with that. Okay. Yeah, now we're now we're fixed at 30. It's a bit more input laggy, but I guess that's kind of to be expected, right? Okay. I feel like it changed my uh, settings now. Did not. Everything's set to high. Whatever. Oh yeah, let's go try to get that now. <laughs> it was like right when I hit the button, it went like, disconnect. And then it kicked me out. Uh... Maybe it won't do that now, because I went offline. Okay. Crafting, because of course we got to have crafting. Roa fruit. More like Gloa fruit, am I right? Am I right? Hey, <laughs> I kill these birds? Yeah. Flight pin. Nice, uh, nice ocean effects, I have to say. Whoa. That's interesting. Okay, so I can crouch, can run. They don't really, they didn't really tell me any controls, so I'm just gonna fuck around. I did find out I could jump, so. Playing at this, this at 30, god, I haven't played a, a Dark Souls game at 30 since I played, um... The original Dark Souls back on the 360. Give me that glow of fruit. Row, 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 row your boat. Reach out and touch grace. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Let's see. So some kind of creeper over here. This is telling me that I should go that away. Map wouldn't have a map. I don't know how that would function, but uh <laughs> Mac frag map fragments. Why did I read that that way? Steels? Freely placed beacons of light. Okay. So, yeah. They definitely played some Breath of the Wild, I guess. Who's this creeper? Um, as far as, like, game audio versus me, how is that? That looks really weird. I don't know if I have much of a choice that other than go this way, because... Um, cause that way's a cliff. They literally start me at a cliff, so... I have to go this way. Here's the thing. What is this? Summoning pools. Oh, okay. More online stuff. More online! You can't even cut any of these bushes. One out of ten. One out of ten. I'm <laughs> filling out my Steam refund form as we speak. Uh Oh, I wanted to kill this. <laughs> I only kill beautiful innocent creatures. Thin beast bones. 
This guy looks... I'm just gonna avoid him for now. Oh, we are barely... We're not even, like... Well, I guess we were having loading stutters earlier, so... Can't expect these guys to actually figure out how to stream in a world <laughs> before they release a game. Oh well. Maybe some of these things will get fixed. Probably not. Probably not. Golden Rune. Oh, it's the Elden Ring. I found it. Oh, wait. Church of Ella. Reach out and touch grace. <laughs> There's a lot of these things already. But okay. I guess I never did look at the map. So again, we're still doing the like, you can fast travel straight from the beginning thing. Um, I'll see what I think about that, but I generally don't like it. So why are we pointing this way? Are you still just kind of trying to direct to where I'm going while also saying like, Got super lag. Lag. I don't know what you mean by lag. Um, okay. At a smithing table, you can spend runes and smithing stones to strengthen your armaments during the particle animation. Oh, okay. particle animation, like when I, uh, went over there and saved. Pick up item. Strength and armament. What do I even have? I haven't even, like, really fought anything. Okay. Okay. Uh... I've got a smithing stone, and I've got a scimitar. A shmitar. I guess I can make it stronger. Uh, I think I'm just gonna not worry about that right now. Who's this? Oh, it's Santa. You're tarnished. I can see it. But I can also see that you're not after my throat. Then why not purchase a little something? I am Kali. Of fine goods. About Kali. Uh, what do you got? This is this is this is giving me shops very very early. I don't know about this either. Uh, I guess it's okay. Um, it's just kind of like it's just a lot of stuff being thrown at me. So far, it's not doing nearly as bad as Sekiro did, but we'll see. Sekiro had way too much, like, talking and explaining crap to me, and I'm just like, I haven't even played the game yet. Like, I don't know what any of this stuff is. I need to, like, play to actually know. I am of a nomadic people, selling wares as I travel. The land has been tainted by madness since the shattering of the Elden Ring. It's Elden Ring is shattered. Like yourself, who keep things from drying up entirely. Let's say you're a very welcome customer. You know, if you can spare the runes, you should buy yourself a crafting kit. A crafting kit allows you to make basic items on your own. Essential, really, if you intend to survive out here for any duration. The kit costs a bundle, and I admit I do take my cut. But the important thing is that you survive. Every custom accounts, after all. Um, I will say I like that. I think that's an interesting feature to have your NPC that it is a shop owner, at least, give a recommendation. I think it would actually be interesting if you had that from, like, every NPC, but just because, like, I think that's a good way to have, like, extra stuff in there and not have somebody barking stuff at me if I don't want to do that. Oh my gosh. This, uh, this beast does not look... Normal. <laughs> Can't jump that high. It's 
not a banjo. Does the fire hurt me? It doesn't look like it. Okay. So they do have like the HUD go away if you don't need it or whatever. That guy's animating at like 10 frames a second over there. There's that dude over there. It's uh... Can I talk to you? Are you friendly? No. <laughs> Why's it gotta be like that, bro? Well, at least he wasn't that tough. I don't even have to bury him. He fell neatly into that bush there. Anyway, that was definitely not a banjo that that guy had. The guy was easier than I thought he would be. Oh, the world's last Galaga Galapagos turtle. <laughs> oh, he's really tough. <laughs> I feel like, uh... Ew. This turtle's been eating gold. Alright. You're too strong for that to be worth it. Uh, are these turtles? What am I looking at over here? Whoa, nice water. I got some Morrowind water here. Look at this. I haven't seen water this good since Morrowind. <laughs> <laughs> are these eggs? Oh god. What is it? Oh no. It's a poison swamp. It's turning it into a poison, poison swamp. <laughs> I kill the egg? What is this? I remember you. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. Okay. Clip through that. Oh. Well, the game looks nice, although I have to say, uh, it's a bit gnarly looking at 1080p. <laughs> eh. Eh. I want to Skyrim up these rocks. There we go, Skyrim my way up here. Okay. What is this? Is this a guy? What is this? Oh, this is disgusting. Guide and gatekeeper for those returning to the roots. Telling me to go that way, I guess. Hey, look, it's more eagles. Why can't we ride the eagles all the way to Isengard or whatever? <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's a beach down there. So, hmm, okay. I'm just thinking about things they're doing. So, I, I guess they're pointing me to something important. I'm supposed to be going probably back to the tree or something? That'd be my guess. Um, I like I like that it's telling me where I can go, but also just letting me go wherever. I should probably run more. So running does not appear to uh, actually use up stamina or anything, so that's interesting. I mean, I guess that makes sense. I mean, it's not its not like Breath of the Wild got that one right, but, you know, when you're in a big open world and you, you're going to travel a lot, you probably don't want to have to worry about a stamina meter when you're running. Right? You know? It's kind of it's kind of silly. 
Um, I like how everything's kind of overgrown with vegetation and stuff. That's cool. I always like those types of things. Um... Is this, like, even a thing, or is this just, like, a thing that's just sticking out of the ground? It looks like it's just a thing sticking out of the ground, which is a little bit disappointing. But, uh, whatever. I'm going south. I'm trying to go down to the beach. So... I guess the thing that, that, that I'm skeptical of with this game, I mean, I appreciate that it's more Dark Soulsy. Like, that seems nice. Uh, at least in terms of the controls and the combat and stuff. Now, it could change, but um, the thing I'm mostly skeptical of is that an open world for this type of thing is even really a good idea. I mean, Dark Souls has an open world, right? But, I mean, a traditional open world like this. Traditional. Isn't that weird? O open world is like a traditional thing at this point. Um, but whatever. A more standard open world. Oh. There's a... Uh, Secunda, or whatever the... What, what's the moon in uh, Elder Scrolls? It's like Masser and Secunda or something. It's like the names of the moons. Okay, there's a big wormy thing down there. It's pretty gross looking. It's like the water just kind of falls off a shelf. I'm really having a heck of a time finding my finding my way down there. Herba! Real creative name there, guy. <laughs> Actually, the funny thing is, you know, uh, most people think herba is an herb, but it's actually a vegetable. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. Just don't eat the seeds. <laughs> oh, it's raining. Weather systems. Okay. many birds. Anyway, let's try it. Let's try it again. Oh. I mean, sometimes it's great, and then sometimes it's just horrible. It's It really sucks. Like, sometimes it's... That's, that's what you get with... <clears throat> cellular crap is sometimes it's good oh man I'm so tired I, I barely could sleep last night now the game's being weird oh there we go <laughs> that took forever okay um, so, oops, it like defaults to decline. <laughs> That's nice. I have to, I have to agree to everything again that I didn't read. Um, I guess, uh, what I would say is perhaps I'm more skeptical of this game than a lot of people are, uh, yeah, Peaches is um, pretty demanding. She wants to get up here like every five minutes. Um, 
you know, I'm a, a big fan of the original Dark Souls. I liked Dark Souls 3, uh, but less. Obviously, Dark Souls 2 uh, is kind of different, so it's really hard to exactly compare that. Um, and I've played some Bloodborne, which I also like, but not enough to really make a judgment call on that game. And I really did not like Sekiro at all. Um, and I feel like generally these games have been on a trajectory that I don't like, that's moved away from the things that I liked about the first game and more towards being like uh, other twitchy, difficult action games that I don't like. So, um, so with that said, I'm somewhat skeptical of this game. But, you know... I'll check it out. Uh, pick, choose your, oh, this is a slightly weird menu, I have to say. Okay. Unpolished menu, I would say. Uh, okay. I don't know exactly what these mean. I have no idea. I can play as a samurai, which is interesting. Uh... play as a naked person. Um, oh, that's helpful. So, I guess it's pretty much typical in that regard, in that your stats start flat if you pick the deprived or whatever version. Um, I don't know what that will mean. You never do in these types of games, which is kind of like a weird thing with this type of design, but you know, it is what it is, I guess. Uh, people gotta have numbers. I um, actually found last time I played Dark Souls that it was easier if I picked the Deprived class because at the start, you kind of, it's a little harder, but then as soon as you start leveling up, because everything starts at 10, versus other classes, you know, you have stuff that starts lower. Um, usually I just pick a warrior in these games, so I'm not gonna think about it too much. I'm just gonna pick that. Type A or Type B? Is that like... Is that like... What does that mean? Does that mean male flesh female? <laughs> is that what we're saying? <laughs> what is that? I can't tell what this is. I'm so covered in robes, who knows? This looks like... This looks like... I, what? Oh, slender buff. Okay, it says here. It didn't say there. <laughs> Did it? I don't know. Whatever. It just said A and B. I'm like, what does that mean? <laughs> Alright, name. Uh, usually I just do garland in these games, so I'm gonna do that. Young. I need to be, uh... I need to be old. Okay, I go over here and pick more things. Okay. Uh... Let's see. Keepsake. Are these things increase maximum HP? Gain many runes. Okay, I don't know what runes are. Is that like souls? <laughs> are sacred flasks like Estus flasks? It's always gotta be like slightly different. <laughs> um. Okay. I feel like this UI is a little bit unpolished, to say the least. Um, this text looks like it's kind of, like, going off the edge of this. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Alright, anyway. Um, I'm just gonna pick this, because that seems good. <laughs> Do I want to be buff or slender? <laughs> Can't really tell any difference with... Oh my gosh. <laughs> Neither of these would be what I would call buff. <laughs> okay. This is, this is male, female, but it says buff, slender, which is really weird. 
<laughs> they have the same face, which is what's really confusing. Okay, whatever. How ragged do I want to be? It doesn't really matter. I'm going to have a helmet on for most of the game. Um... I don't remember... I think the character creator in Dark Souls 3 was, like, slightly better than the one in the first game. None of this really matters that much, so... What is this? I don't know. <laughs> We've got... Oh, this feels like this would be better to not use a controller for. I'm burning up in here, by the way. I'm gonna open the front door. <laughs> I can't have some kind of consistent yeah the first game used like the same stuff that they used for for Oblivion which is like hilarious because you can imagine somebody like playing Oblivion being like we gotta get this face tech <laughs> <laughs> it's like, uh, it was terrible there. I don't know if I should just try to, like, like, I would rather just do a random thing. Oh, there is a thing there that's like, uh, uh, switch by 10, it says. Okay. Oh my gosh, I'm dying. I need to shed peaches again. She's been shedding a lot. Um, I don't know. Pick the random thing. They all look the same. Um, I think I'm not going to worry about that too much right now. <laughs> uh, if I, if I hate, hate myself, then, uh, fair enough. Um, I don't know what online type things this game has. I've tended to never play these games online, because uh, I don't really like the online features, and I don't like playing with other people. But, you know, I'll keep an open mind. I was supposed to. The great Elden Ring was shattered. In our home, across the fog, the lands between. I've got cat hair that's floating around and going into my nose. Annoyingly. So it's interesting that we have this super budge. Uh, intro <laughs> cutscene versus uh, most of these games, you know. pretty much never really can fully pay attention to these things because they're like so slow and I also don't really understand any of it. <laughs> Interesting that uh that we've just got this uh War leading to abandonment. I don't know what you want to call this. Super budget. Oh, rise now. <laughs> ye tarnished, ye dead, who yet live. The call of long lost grace. Speaks to us all. Warlord. 
Yeah, I mean, it's... <laughs> like, I, I don't have a reason to care at this point, so... Anyway, hello, bad player eating. Saw you had to. W sorry, you had to watch Disney ads. The dung eater. So easily forgotten. This <laughs> uh, this voice actor reading these lines is really trying hard to make this exciting. <laughs> So, I know the game's gonna launch at 4K, because this text is definitely 4K. Um, but that's probably not good to run it at. <laughs> so I'll have to drop it down. Yeah, you have to get that. You have to get the Disney. Cross that fog. To stand before the Elden Ring. It almost rhymes. And become the Elden Lord. All right, all right. Get on with it already. <laughs> Hopefully my uh, GPU fan doesn't like fall out. <laughs> I ordered like some new fans because my 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 fan kept falling out, but um, they they don't show up till tomorrow probably. New the ring why okay okay it is me all right let me uh let me uh drop this to like 1080p because. I know there's no way in hell that it's going to run at 4K reasonably. There's just no way. So... Oh, that's actually... Oh my god! <laughs> Why? Why does it have to be this way? Alright, let's, uh, let's just try to... Why doesn't it snap? Oh, it's at, like... What is going on here? That's weird. It's like, doesn't quite fit. Transform. Fit to screen. There we go. What is that? Does that look okay? Oh yeah, I mean it is it is just another Souls game. Um, let there be Elden Ring. Okay, thanks bro. Okay. I would have streamed at 60 if I'd known it would run at 60, but hopefully the 30 looks okay. I just hate the online stuff. It's so distracting, and it, it, it there's no point to it as far as I'm concerned. But whatever. That's just me. <laughs> People have to have their online stuff. This is, like, a little too dark. You know, they gave me that brightness adjust thing earlier, but I was kind of like, well, I don't really want to adjust that. Let's see. How's that look? Yeah, it looks better. Oh. Okay. That was a hitch. Uh, I think I'm a warrior. I've got some, like, thingies, though. Hidden path ad, really? No, there isn't. <laughs> okay. I guess let's open this door. We've got a compass. That might come in handy. Chapel of Anticipation. Well, we're not really anticipating, are we? We're just, we're just playing this now. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna turn this online off. I'm sorry. No, this is not. This is not what we want. I don't like blood stains. They're annoying. Um. People want to watch somebody play this online. Actually, I don't know if you can just go offline without like relaunching it, can you? I don't want to do that. Well, we'll go with it for now. Fine. So, there's a 
big giant tree. That's nice. Uh, there is some fog and possibly ocean, it looks like. Probably hard to tell on stream, but that's what it looks like to me. To me. <laughs> See, this is why I don't want to play it online. <laughs> Dear John. Oh, okay. Yeah. You know that. If somebody called out of work today to play a video game, it was this game. Okay, let's move along. But yeah, the problem is, like, I can't tell whether these things are important or not, and they are, like, not most of the time. So, stupid ghosts. Stupid online crap. Yeah, I may have to cap it at 30, because... Try jumping off! <laughs> See, the trolling is in full force. Well, I'm fast rolling, for sure. So, the fact that this... I will say, if you haven't played any of these other games, Mike... Sekiro is very different. This is very similar to Dark Souls immediately. Um, Sekiro is very different. Here! We build here! Okay. Uh oh. Oh, okay. You don't know why. Okay. Somebody died here. People will always die. Behold, tree. It won't be Breath of the Wilding some trees in this one. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know if they can, if they have you cap at thirty. Exactly, Dark Souls. It's close. There's nothing wrong with that to me. I happen to like Dark Souls. And I didn't particularly like Sekiro. Well, I'm almost dead. Oh, that's appropriate. <laughs> Flash. I'm looking at a black screen. It's not just you. Dark soils. Okay. Looks like I was supposed to die. Which doesn't surprise me, because that boss was doing literally so much damage. Uh, I guess they're probably trying to set some anticipation that, like, later I'm going to come back and fight whatever that dude was. <laughs> Yes. Those are some uh, some slightly jank horse foot animations. Goat horse. Don't worry, Torrent. Fortune is on her side. Torrent. That's what a lot of people are gonna do to this game. <laughs> I guess they've got that, uh, they probably got Denuvo on her or something, but. Oh, that's fine. Kind is sure to seek the Elden Ring. One of my kind. Even if it does violate the Golden Order. Well, I gotta seek this Elden Ring. I mean, what else am I gonna do? <laughs> Everybody's talking about it. Um. Yeah, like, I don't know. Like, I understand the the desire that they always have to put these intro things at the start of the game, even even though this one was, like, super low budget, even compared to the first Dark Souls. Um, but, don't you love that we still don't, we still don't have, like, smooth transitions out of cutscenes. It's still, like, the same jank. 
Okay, I got a flask of cerulean tears. A flask of crimson tears. God only knows what this means. Why is it always dead? This guy don't look so good. Brave tarnished. Take the plunge of learning and remembrance. Recall the arts of war and your warrior's blood. He has no voice. Okay, am I supposed to jump down? It is super dark in here. Why is it always defeat? Okay. Okay. So dark. Can't see anything. Don't give up, skeleton. Oh god. I'm gonna not go the dark way, because it's pretty dark. He wants me to drop off this, this old man. I'm scared he's trolling me, though. So here's some kind of weird tree. This tree looks like a hologram. Oh god. Oh my god. <laughs> this game's got some, uh... Some loading stutters, to say the least. It's not quite streaming in smoothly on this PlayStation 5 of mine, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> this, this, this here homemade PlayStation 5. <laughs> Well, to be fair, I knew I was playing on a men's back. So. Alright. Touch Grace. Reach out and touch Grace. Do, 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 do. Yeah, literally state of the art. It definitely doesn't have like a eight year old GPU in it or something. Because. Which still goes for $350. <laughs> Pastime. Flask, memorize spell, sword chest, leave. Well, at the moment I don't really have any opinion about that. Okay. Oh, I can jump. That's interesting, I didn't notice that. Use stone sword key. Yes. No stone sword key in inventory. Okay. I guess that's nice. Pillage remains. Use Tarnished Spurled Finger to write a gold summon sign. Cooperative multiplayer begin once you've summoned a... You've been summoned by a player from another world. Okay, so... Uh, I never really do that. That's like the only thing that I could see myself maybe wanting to do was like help other players. Um, I don't really... I'm not really interested in like fighting other players and stuff, but... Okay. Finger Severer. Let's smash some pots. So I can't go through here for some reason that is unbeknownst to me. Is this like a fog gate, but like it's one way or something? Interesting. I can jump. I can jump in this game. Now... As long as I don't have a grappling hook, um, then uh, it shouldn't break the game. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, that guy went up. I don't want to step on that yet. I need to poke around. Hidden path ahead. There's no hidden path. These people are trolling. Well, it doesn't look like there's anything else to do, so let's go up. Yeah, I mean, I've got the screen door, so I can at least do that. Keep birds out and cats in. I said something about if jumping existed, it would be weird on Dark Souls. No, what I said was that they put jumping in Sekiro, and uh, it ruined Dark Souls, in my opinion. 
but it wasn't just jumping, it's the the grappling hook and all that stuff. I just, I don't like it. I don't think it works. Like, it's cool and all, but it's just, a, I mean, it's fine, right? Whatever. People like that game, so who am I to judge? But it's, it's just, it's a different game, so. So that's a nice reveal, isn't it? Like, hey, look, we're out here. Now we are out in the definitely running at 30 frames per second when we look that way. Open world. Okay. Can I... I really wish I could just lock. Can I lock? Knowing them, probably no. Yeah. Knowing them, probably no. I'll have to do it in, like, the GPU setting. <laughs> you bet your sweet Elden Ring. I mean, for like a, you know, for a more open world thing like this one is, you kind of need jumping because sometimes you're going to have to Skyrim on th off of things or up things or whatever. Um, we'll see how that plays out. Everything's got to be open world nowadays. Um, but... Tell they uh they slammed all the geometry in that direction because that's well maybe you can't tell because it probably looks the same but for me that this direction is where the frame rate really shits the bed and then this direction's fine <laughs> they were really like wanted to wow you I guess hey look it's a red glowy gonna be like that, eh? Is it gonna be like that, eh? Let me, uh... Let me, uh... I mean, it's, it's on, like, auto-detect, so you'd think it would, like, tweak that. I can lower it, but in any case, um... Sorry, uh, what was I gonna say? Okay, I was just gonna make sure that it was offline. I'm gonna, like, relaunch the thing anyway. I don't know why it takes so long to close. That's kind of weird. Anyway, hello, Choose the Force. Uh, yeah, it's on high quality. I guess that's just what it picked. It, uh, definitely... I think I can run it at 30, but I'm gonna go set... Yeah, sorry about this being like this corner of my screen, but it was it was being weird. I'll probably have to reset it again. Um Okay. Yeah, I had to call all the destructors. That's what I was thinking. Um So Do I do max frame rate or do I do Yeah, I think we do this half re refresh. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. That should work. Um, I'd, rather, I'd rather if I can hit 30, just play it at 30, uh, than having it go up and down, like depending on which direction I'm looking. Oh, let's hope that this, uh, I don't have to rescale the thing, but I probably will. Because it was, like, fine until I adjusted the resolution. Uh, From Software's games have always been weird about, like, the capture coming in as, at the wrong resolution. I guess I'm doing a mainstreaming thing instead of... And now it's now it's in the corner for me. Let's hope it actually fills screen. <laughs> <laughs> nope. It's not. It's not doing it. It's just it's sitting in the corner of my screen. Try clicking this, maybe it'll do it. No? Oh, oh, there we go. Full screen, full screen, guys. I know it's hard. <laughs> Microsoft makes it basically impossible, but. Okay. 
Let's get back into this. The festering bloody finger. Ew. I don't want a festering bloody finger. Get away from me with that. Okay. Yeah, now we're now we're fixed at 30. It's a bit more input laggy, but I guess that's kind of to be expected, right? Okay. I feel like it changed my uh, settings now. Maybe not. Everything's set to high. Whatever. Oh yeah, let's go try to get that now. <laughs> it was like right when I hit the button, it went like, disconnect. And then it kicked me out. Uh, maybe it won't do that now because I went offline. Okay, crafting, because of course we gotta have crafting. Roa fruit. More like Galoa fruit, am I right? Am I right? Hey, <laughs> can I kill these birds? Yeah. Flight pinion. Nice, uh. Nice ocean effects, I'd say. Okay, so I can crouch, can run. They don't really, they didn't really tell me any controls, so I'm just gonna fuck around. I did find out I could jump, so. Playing at this, this at 30, god, I haven't played a, a Dark Souls game at 30 since I played, um, The original Dark Souls back on the 360. Give me that glow of fruit. Roa, roa, row your boat. Reach out and touch Grace. <laughs> okay. Some kind of creeper over here. This is telling me that I should go that way. Map. Oh god. I somehow, I somehow still imagined that this wouldn't have a map. I don't know how that would function, but. Uh. <laughs> Mac frag map fragments. Why did I read that that way? Steals? Freely placed beacons of light. Okay. So, yeah. They definitely played some Breath of the Wild, I guess. Who's this creeper? Oh, yes. Tarnished, shall we? Come to the lands between the big elven ring. Of course you have. No shame in it. Unfortunately for you, however... the strength of runes and without an invitation to the round table hold you are fated it seems to die in obscurity okay um as far as like game audio versus me how is that that looks really I don't know if I have much of a choice that other than go this way, because... Um, so that way's a cliff. They literally start me at a cliff, so... I kind of have to go this way. Here's the thing. What is this? Summoning pools. Oh, okay. More online stuff. More online! Can't even cut any of these bushes. One out of ten. One out of ten. I'm <laughs> filling out my Steam refund form as we speak.
Uh. Oh, I wanted to kill this. <laughs> I only kill beautiful innocent creatures. Thin beast bones. This guy looks. I'm just gonna avoid him for now. Oh, we are barely. We're not even like. Well, I guess we were having loading stutters earlier, so. Can't expect these guys to actually figure out how to stream in a world <laughs> before they release a game. Oh well. Maybe some of these things will get fixed. Probably not. Probably not. Golden Rune. Oh, it's the Elden Ring. I found it. Oh, wait. Church of Ella. Reach out and touch grace. <laughs> There's a lot of these things already. But okay. I guess I never did look at the map. Uh, yeah, okay. So... So again, we're still doing the, like, you can fast travel straight from the beginning thing. Um, I'll see what I think about that, but I generally don't like it. So why are we pointing this way? Are you still just kind of trying to direct to where I'm going while also saying, like... You've got super lag. Lag? I don't know what you mean by lag. Um, okay. At a smithing table, you can spend runes and smithing stones to strengthen your armaments during the particle animation. Oh, okay. Particle animation. Like when I, uh, went over there and saved. Pick up item. Strength and armament. What do I even have? I haven't even, like, really fought anything. Okay. Okay. Uh. I've got a smithing stone, and I've got a scimitar. A shmitar. I guess I can make it stronger. Uh, I think I'm just gonna not worry about that right now. Who's this? Oh, it's Santa. Tarnished. I can see it, but I can also see that you're not after my throat. Then why not purchase a little something? I am Kali, purveyor of fine goods. About Kali. Uh, right, what do you got? This is this is this is giving me shops very very early. I don't know about this either. Uh, I guess it's okay. Um, it's just kind of like, it's just a lot of stuff being thrown at me. So far it's not doing nearly as bad as Sekiro did, but we'll see. Sekiro had way too much like talking and explaining crap to me, and I'm just like, I haven't even played the game yet. Like, I don't know what any of this stuff is. I need to like play to actually know. I will say I like that. I think that's an interesting feature to have your NPC that is a shop owner, at least, give a recommendation. I think it would actually be interesting if you had that from, like, every NPC, but just because, like, 
I think that's a good way to have, like, extra stuff in there and not have somebody barking stuff at me if I don't want to do that. Oh my gosh. This, uh, this beast does not look... normal. <laughs> Can't jump that high. It's not a banjo. Does the fire hurt me? It doesn't look like it. So they do have like the HUD go away if you don't need it or whatever. That guy's animating at like 10 frames a second over there. There's that dude over there. It's uh... Can I talk to you? Are you friendly? No. <laughs> Why's it gotta be like that, bro? Well, at least he wasn't that tough. I don't even have to bury him. He fell neatly into that bush there. Anyway, that was definitely not a banjo that that guy had. The guy was easier than I thought he would be. Oh, the world's last Galaga Galapagos turtle. <laughs> oh, he's really tough. <laughs> I feel like, uh... Ew. This turtle's been eating gold. Alright. You're too strong for that to be worth it. Uh... Are these turtles... What am I looking at over here? Whoa, nice water. Got some Morrowind water here. Look at this. I haven't seen water this good since Morrowind. <laughs> Are these eggs? Oh god. What is it? Oh no. It's poison swamp. It's turning it into a poison poison swamp. Can I kill the egg? What is this? I remember you. Oh gosh. <laughs> okay. Okay. Clip through that. Oh. Well, the game looks nice, although I have to say, uh, bit gnarly looking at 1080p. <laughs> eh. Eh. I want to Skyrim up these rocks. There we go. Skyrim my way up here. What is this? Is this a guy? What is this? Oh, this is disgusting. Guide and gatekeeper for those returning to the roots. Oh. Okay. It's telling me to go that way, I guess. Hey look, it's more eagles. Why can't we ride the eagles all the way to Isengard or whatever? <laughs> oh, there's a beach down there. So, hmm, okay. I'm just thinking about things they're doing. So, I, I guess they're pointing me to something important. I'm supposed to be going probably back to the tree or something? That would be my guess. Um, I like, I like that it's telling me where I can go, but also just letting me go wherever. I should probably run more. So running does not appear to, uh, 
actually use up stamina or anything, so that's interesting. I mean, I guess that makes sense. I mean, it's not it's not like Breath of the Wild got that one right, but, you know, when you're in a big open world and you, you're going to travel a lot, you probably don't want to have to worry about a stamina meter when you're running. Right? You know? It's kind of kind of silly. Um, I like how everything's kind of overgrown with vegetation and stuff. That's cool. I always like those types of things. Um, is this like even a thing or is this just like a thing that's just sticking out of the ground? Looks like it's just a thing sticking out of the ground, which is a little bit disappointing. But, uh, whatever. I'm going south. I'm trying to go down to the beach. So, I guess the thing that, that, that I'm skeptical of with this game. I mean, I appreciate that it's more Dark Soulsy. Like that seems nice, uh, at least in terms of the controls and the combat and stuff. Now it could change, but um, the thing I'm mostly skeptical of is that an open world for this type of thing is even really a good idea. I mean, Dark Souls has an open world, right? But I mean, a traditional open world like this, traditional. Isn't that weird? A open world is like a traditional thing at this point. Um, but whatever. A more standard open world. Oh. There's, a uh, Secunda, or whatever the... What, what's the moon in, uh, Elder Scrolls? It's like Masser and Secunda or something. It's like the names of the moons. Okay, there's a big wormy thing down there. It's pretty gross looking. It's like the water just kind of falls off a shelf. I'm really having a heck of a time finding my finding my way down there. Herba, real creative name there, guy. <laughs> Actually, the funny thing is, you know, uh, most people think Herba is an herb, but it's actually a vegetable. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Just don't eat the seeds. <laughs> oh, it's raining. Weather systems, okay. Alright. So many birds. I feel like I'm gonna be uh, cursed for every bird that I kill. Yeah, I don't know. Whoa some like weird thing around me <laughs> with that grass. That's very strange. Uh, yeah, the foliage in this game looks really nice. Uh, I do wish I could run it at a higher resolution, but <laughs> it's, barely, it's sometimes barely, uh, barely making it here. Although it seems to be okay. It's just the streaming. I feel like that thing's gonna kill me. You know, there's there is something that's a little bit interesting about this in terms of like being an open world thing. It makes me much more scared of pretty much everything uh, than I would say I I would be in a a normal Souls type game because I really don't know. Like if I'm going, it could be this thing could kill me instantly, or it could be no big deal. Oh god. Oh, that's not doing much. I'm gonna say run away. Because uh, that didn't do much. I don't know about this crouch. I'm gonna, it's gonna take me a while to not accidentally do that. There's some like weird geometry there that I got stuck on. Chat seems kind of dead. I don't know if the stream is dead or what. I think people would tell me if the stream was dead, but... 
you know, <laughs> maybe my internet's down, so I don't know. Yeah, there's something weird with, I don't know if it's, maybe it's some, uh, ambient occlusion or something that's causing that. Oh god. Okay, so it looks like stamina kicks in when you're in combat, but outside of combat, it doesn't apply. Okay, that's fine. Okay. I haven't even used a flask. I'm just, like, laying waste. Yeah, you're right. I have to kind of fight everything just to find out whether or not it's going to kill me horribly. So, this water looks significantly less good once I'm down here. <laughs> Though, I do like the splashing and the, the waves, but, yeah. It, it does just not look particularly great once I'm down here. Anyway, I know I'm not going the way I'm supposed to go, quote-unquote. You know, it's an open-world game. So, what's the point of it being open-world if I can't just go wherever, right? Oh, is this... Wait. What the hell? What do you need? Really trouble. Oh, no, this is a different guy. It's very similar looking, though. Wait. This guy's got a banjo, too. What's up with this guy? Bro. You got a back scratcher on that banjo. Neutralizing boluses? Okay. <laughs> What's up with the bolus? I don't want to eat a bolus. <laughs> this game's pretty gross. Lamb squirts. Okay, okay now. Um. Anyway, game looks nice. It's no, uh, it's no next-gen graphics, but not that I could run that anyway on this. It's old. It's old. <laughs> it's old Chevy of mine. <laughs> Whoa, okay. Got some aggressive uh, screen, space screen space reflections of the sky there. I'm gonna fight whatever this is. It looks like uh, one of those things you fought in the sewers in. Dark Souls. It's not, it's not, uh, it's not, uh, it's not taking much damage. Uh, I guess I have another sword I could be using. Should probably have used that. Okay, so that's, that's definitely not help. That definitely is. Have they said why the ring is Elden? I don't know, man. Everybody keeps talking about this ring. You know, somebody said it was broken. I thought it was Elden, but... It's all the rage. All the kids are doing it. You know, they're seeking the Elden Ring and stuff. <laughs> I just want to kill some, like, knockoff levers or whatever. Whatever the hell this is. I'm gonna eat my shield. Glass shard. Oh. It's like a weird updraft over there. I don't know what to make of that. Okay. Yeah, the, the screen space reflections are a little, uh... A little on the not great side, I'm gonna say. Uh... Yeah. Like, they don't have... They don't really seem to have a proper solution for when the screen space reflections don't work out. So, you're getting, like, these harsh fall-offs at the edge of the screen. 
Whoa. It's a skull. Uh. I've got a golden rune. I've got a golden rune. I guess I should probably see what, like, some of these things even are. Oh yeah, I have a shield, so that's interesting. That's not what I wanted to look at. I wanted to look at this crap. Show large item. Show large item. Okay. Excuse me. Ruin fragment. Okay, crafting. Shard of filthy glass. Worthless rubbish. Because it sparkles in the light, it might be just... Oh my god, I'm dying. My lever is attacking me. My lever is attacking me! Get away from me. Okay. Let's go, uh... <laughs> Let's go back over here. Let's get into uh, some shelter. Does the rain at least not go through here? Hey, look at that. <laughs> moral, the same moral wind <laughs> anymore. <laughs> we can't rest at fire. We don't rest at fires in this game. What do you think this is? This ain't Dark Souls. Uh, oh, here's a cave. This is nice. Here's some here's some classic uh Soulsian world design. Let's just put a whole cave over here that like is just there. Oh god, it's dark in here. I do not have any torches, I don't believe, so I think it's cool that uh there's stuff that's actually dark in this, uh, so far. So what else do I have? Okay. 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 So I, I, I can basically dark sign myself. Just gain some runes. Okay. But you can get Elden Ring from that golden rune just by swapping out a couple letters. Yeah. Oh. Oh, there's one here. Alright. Let's reach out and test Touch Grace. Let's uh, restore my things. So you said it was lagging when that happened. Did it lag that time? Seemed fine to me. I don't know. Who's this again? Summoning pool is now functional. What? No, I don't want to do that. Oh god, it's so dark in here. Oh no. There's something green and glowing. Oh Jesus Christ. What is the green thing? Ah! <laughs> okay. Cave moss. Oh god. I can't really see anything. Ah, there's a guy. At least these guys are weak. I just thought about something. <laughs> Does this have a uh, level scaling? I don't know. I'm scared I'm gonna fall off of an edge. Like that! <laughs> I feel like I need to go and get a torch somewhere, but... Alright, I'm, I'm getting lost in a cave. Wait. This isn't where I was. I'm gonna leave that because I can actually see it in the dark. Which is at least more than I can say for most of these things. I guess I didn't see what the moss does. Let me drink some tears! I definitely need a torch though.
okay. Well, we're faring okay, considering how dark it is in here. What is that boss, dude? Uh, crafting. I can't use it, though, so... I can't use it, actually, as a light. That would be cool, though, if I, if I could use it, but it's not really that bright, so, I don't know. Maybe you could crush it, and that, like, does something temporarily. Oh, my God, I can't see shit. Let's go over here. I can at least see something over here. Land octopus ovary. <laughs> well, summon sign. Okay. I guess let's summon a guy. Horse, bo <laughs> horse bovary. That's what. That's what I want to see. Are you gonna come in here? Oh no. Oh, there you are. <laughs> what am I actually doing here? I'm just fighting some guys. Oh no, there's a guy. Two of these guys. That's great. Oh god. Let's just let him deal with them. <laughs> I don't think this is going very well. to equip a shield or I need to like remember that uh, I have two swords because I'm, I'm I'm just forgetting that I have a second sword it's not really a, a play style I normally play with the two swords so. uh, oh okay okay standard Soulsian thing so it looks like it looks like design-wise, they mostly just rolled back to Dark Souls. And then, which is probably good, right? Because you're introducing this, like, radically different element, which is, let's make the thing, like, open world. Um, it's unclear to me whether that's good or bad, because, like, as I said before, you know, Dark Souls is open world. Um, obviously I'm going into a cave here, which then that's a bit more of, like, a standard level design, because I'm more constrained. Um, and then I've got, like, more of an actual open environment outside. So, speaking of which, let's just leave. <laughs> let's just leave. Um, I don't want to go back through there in the dark again, so. I'm gonna deal with that once I have a torch. Hey, that that branch actually broke. Budgy oh, stuff. I will say, I wish I could run it at sixty because. I'm reminded that playing Dark Souls at 30 is a lot harder. <laughs> it is hard. So, I mean, thus far, the open worldness of it is not adding much to me. Uh, you know, maybe I'll feel different eventually, but thus far it's kind of, it's 
kind of just more walking. Maybe I'll change my mind. Um, I can't jump up there. Um, yeah, I mean, like, in a way, so far the jumping is like a kludge to deal with that you have crappier level design because you're trying to be more Ver... Verisimilitudinous? Is that, is that a word? You're trying to be more like a real place. I guess I can warp, so I forgot about that. So, it does mean less walking. Because I can just warp back up here. Ashes of war are memories of the... Oh. <laughs> why they have those things. Uh, I turned off uh, anisotropic filtering in, in the, the driver and it looks like the game doesn't do it, so that's unfortunate. <laughs> what does it look like with no anti-aliasing? Oh my god. Yeah, that's... That's not gonna do. <laughs> Alright, moving on. Uh, that wants me to go this way. Let's go that way. Why not? Roast beast, I say. I should try... Um, hold on, I should try, uh, put th putting this on game streaming. Maybe it'll be slightly smoother for, for everyone over there. Because, uh, I was just looking at it and I was like, that does not look smooth, it looks pretty choppy. Does that look better? I don't know, does it look the same? <laughs> CPU usage is pretty high for Streamlabs. Okay. Yeah, it's just a question of whether that was like better than the alternative. That guy looks almost see-through, but I think it's like the... Okay, it's better. Okay, good. Oh, this guy's a bad guy. <laughs> Thought he was a nice guy. You know, everybody told me Gary was a nice guy, but it turns out Gary's a real dickhead. Everybody said, oh, he's nice once you get to know him. I said, well, I think I know him enough. Grove Side Cave. Now let's reach out and touch Grace. There's a lot of these things. I mean, I, I guess there kind of has to be because of the, the, the open-endedness, but... I feel like I can't really go into a cave unless I have a torch. Here's a thing. Why can't I use you as a torch? Oh. Uh, well. Wish I could climb this wall. <laughs> okay. Yeah, hopefully that's a little bit less brainy. Sometimes when you do like display capture, OBS can get weird about uh, like beat frequencies in the capture frame rate and the game frame rate. Does a little better with being captured. Huh. What's the story here? It's like an old castle that's like gotten destroyed. Whoa! I got some tone mapping. These guys are, uh, kind of chumps, I gotta be honest. Yeah, I mean, the game's been running fine for me. I just was looking at the thing, and I was like, oh, it looks rough. And I know I said, like, it wasn't running great, but 
It's mostly been fine, actually. I mean, it's at 30. I can't hit 60. Like, when I was running at 60, it was, like, weird. All over the place. But... It's another guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ruins on top of ruins. Yeah, we've got, uh... We got some kind of fort or something. Somebody set up some fortifications here. Whoever these people are. Who are... Who don't like me very much at all. And instantly want to kill me. Oh no, this guy's blowing his bugle. He's gonna summon all of his dudes. Oh god. I knew that guy was gonna kill me. I was like, I bet the bad dude with the spear is like worse. Everybody showed up to murder me. Stake of America. What does that mean? I don't know what that means. I guess I gotta see what that means. <laughs> don't fuck with banjo. Yeah, yeah like a music. Here, here. Say hi to everybody. <laughs> So what 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 is this? Oh, there's like a weird shrine here. Ah, okay. Huh. That's interesting. That is interesting. Uh so I guess there's like revival sites that aren't warp points and aren't like proper full like level up points or whatever. Yeah, try to kitty cam slightly. Kitty cam. Kitty cam. Oh god. Kitty cam gonna get me killed. Don't blow your bugles. I need to shed this cat because otherwise she's just gonna stir up so much hair. Okay. Well. I feel like I could probably kill everybody in this camp. <laughs> Which is a really fucked up thing to say. <laughs> Out of context. But, uh... I feel like I could kill everybody in this camp. Oh, there's like a kangaroo or something. What the fuck? What is this? Some fucking weird wallaby shit? <laughs> Get over here! Come on! I guess there is sneaking. I don't know how it works, though. Don't know how it works. Cash checking. Gotta get away from these bugle boys. seem like I can kick. Oh. Wallabies. I'm guessing the stream is on some kind of immense delay because of all the drop frames earlier. I need to switch to this shield. Oh, God. <laughs> look at this dinky shield. Oh, God. I love, I love this dinky shield. <laughs> That's hilarious. Oh, man. It's like, you, you can tell right away that's not going to be super effective. Okay, so I can parry. But I can't... I can't, like, kick. It doesn't seem like... Can I, like... Okay, I can do that. Alright. Most of the Dark Souls controls are there. Just not kick. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. It's going to blow a 
through. Buckler. Is it though? Is it though? What is it? It just says riveted wooden shield, small shield. A buckler is usually like really rounded, right? So it's like good at like deflecting things off at like an angle. Anyway, yeah. I do like these ruins. I gotta turn that anisotropic filtering back on because these uh these like blurry textures at an angle are are killing me, man. How is that still uh shippable? How is that still shippable, peaches? I mean I guess sometimes it can help. Like I think uh I think there was like some kind of discussion about with like Breath of the Wild that it actually was it looked better without anisotropic filtering because it, it kind of smoothed over the distant landscape so you couldn't see the repetitive patterns, but that's more like something else to sign around. That guy saw me through a wall. <laughs> ah, I need to use the shield. Well, that was bad timing. Okay. Oh. There's a dead guy. There's like a dead king or something. He's got a crown. He died a long time ago. I'm gonna say. Look at that texture quality. Uh, okay. Alright. Come on, Wallaby. Oh. There's a little, uh, little grace here. Did you lead me to the thing? Did you lead me to it? That's not. need a... What do I got? Oh. Oops. I need to do that. Uh? Uh? I'm getting a cutscene. Oh yeah, they said I didn't have one of these, uh, what did they say? A maiden? Traveler from beyond the fog. I don't have a fairy, I'm not like the other kids. You got dripped on, peaches. Whoa, those hands are, uh, fucked up. <laughs> For you an accord. All right. Have you heard of the finger maidens? Excuse me, princess, indeed. They serve the two fingers, offering guidance and aid to the tarnish. <laughs> Accordion. But you, I am afraid. You're gonna level me up? What is this? Dark Souls? You know, I wanted to make like a... Well, I don't know if I wanted to make it, but... I want there to exist a... a musical themed... Uh, RPG or fantasy game or something called Loot Drop, but it's like L-U-T-E. <laughs> um, 
that's that's really all I got on that one. <laughs> but I do like uh, I do like the idea. I feel like you know we got these banjos and stuff, and that would be cool, you know. You have some kind of like musical themed thing. I don't know. Try to make it play into things. God, look how much this cat's shedding. This cat is shedding. We're, we're cat grooming. I'm sorry. I have to do it. Otherwise, like, I can't pet this cat because the amount of fur that is going into my nostrils just flying off of this thing. And you might say it's because you keep touching your nose. And it's like, no, I'm sitting here trying to get the, the stuff off of my nose. Holy shit. Yeah, I played Crypt of the Necro Dancer. And that was like one of those games where I was like, why didn't they go with Loot Drop? That's a much better name. But whatever. <laughs> Crypt of the Necro Dancer. That's fine. But in any case, that game's like not like musical instrument themed. It's dancing themed, right? It's like a DDR type thing mixed with a dungeon crawler. Oh, golden loot. Well, I haven't played the game, so keep that in mind. I played uh, I played some of the Zelda themed one. So. If I said I played it, I'm aware of it, but I haven't actually played it. Golden loot. Still. I think loot drop is funnier. And, uh, and, uh, and that game, yeah, it's, it's like, it's, it's, that one's more of like an RPG roguelike rhythm game, which is not really what I'm thinking. I'm not thinking like a rhythm game, necessarily. More like musical instruments. Sorry, I know this is so exciting, watching me groom this cat. Look at, look at this. Look at this. It's disgusting. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, fair enough. It's an obvious pun. I didn't play the game, so it's not like I know everything. <laughs> I did play some of the Zelda one. I actually liked that. I, like I said, I didn't play the original, but I've seen it played enough that I know like the design structure of the game. And I liked the structure of the Zelda one a little better because it was like more of a adventure game, right? So, anyway. Yes, I will accept your offer. I guess if I want to, I can not. I want like super hard mode. Ah, another matter. I bequeath to you this ring. The Elden Ring. Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> Use it to traverse great distances. It will summon a spectral steed named Torrent. Torrent. Torrent has chosen you. Torrent has chosen this game. <laughs> okay. Yay, I can revel up now. Okay, what is this? Add charge to flask. Oh yeah, I have this thing, don't I? Good. Good. Can I do this? No, I don't have that. I want to just gray it out. It's really weird. Okay, whatever. Uh, yeah, we're not gonna muck with that too much. Do I have even enough of these runes? Let my hand rest upon you for but a moment. Ugh. Share with me your thoughts, your ambitions, the principles you would follow. You're creeping me out, lady. I don't have enough. I only got two hundred fifty-six. 256. That's all we're allowed. Okay. Um, 
Yeah, that's fine. Oh. Goodbye, lady. Use Spectral Seed Whistle to summon Rider. Spectral Steed. Spectral Steed Whistle, sorry. Spectral Seed Whistle. That's something totally different. <laughs> if your Spectral Steed dies, you can summon it again, but it will cost one flask of Crimson Tears to do so. <laughs> you can dismount by using the whistle again or by pressing the left stick. Whoa, okay. Uh, I clicked the left stick and it brought this up. From pouch in the main menu, you can equip six items to your pouches. Four of these items can be used without opening the main menu. Oh my god, okay. Alright, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. I guess that just came up coincidentally. Because obviously left stick crouches. I locked onto that guy from here! <laughs> Bro. There's a guy all the way over there, I didn't even know. Um, let's see. What's I gonna do? Not that. <laughs> I guess I gotta, uh... Probably equip this thing, right? Equip that. And then I guess the idea is that I can do things this way. But how does that work? I don't quite understand. Hmm. I don't quite understand how this thing works. I don't know. How does this work? Use item. I feel like I'm a moron, but I don't really... Uh, didn't really get that. You know? Like, I don't understand how this pouch thing works. Like, if I hit up here, that doesn't do anything. I can, like, go here and use these, but, like, you think since I'm assigning it to a direction that, that like, that there's, like, a way to do those things, but I don't really know. I don't understand... Oh yeah, I guess I should... I guess I should summon this this bad boy. We gotta get on a horsey horse. It's a goat horse. Jump. 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 We can double jump. We can horse double jump, guys. You know... You know what makes jumping better? Double jumping. You know what makes jumping... Uh... You know what makes uh, jumping even double jumping even better is uh, when it's a horse. <laughs> can I actually? Okay, I can attack from horseback. That's good. If I could actually do it properly, that would be nice. Oh god, this is not going well. <laughs> Ride my horse tonight. I'm gonna kill this guy. I can't hit him. It's gotta be like super close. Okay, how do we hop off like this? Okay. Ah! Horse feels good, which is nice. Having the double jump uh, on horseback is interesting. 
What the fuck? Lightning? Oh no. I don't want lightning. I've already played too much Final Fantasy 13. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's nice that, uh, that you can dismount the horse and then, like, uh. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. I guess you gotta keep that active. It's nice that you can dismount and, uh, remount while generally keeping your mobility, so that's cool. Whoa! That goat straight up just rolled. Oh god. Is it gonna roll at me? Ah! Oh, there's a guy. Hey, bro. I will attack you. <laughs> what about my horse's life meter? Oh god, this is not going well. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Can I, like... Nope. <laughs> I was gonna say, can I summon the horse in midair? That would be cool. Apparently not. We shall not summon a horse in midair. <laughs> Limb grave. Right, well, I gotta go find my corpse. Excuse me. Acquire those materials. I will say this is nice. It's nice that the thing that they added uh, is actually really cool. And not just like a thing that I'm wondering why it's here. Get my corpse denied. Come on. I think I can jump with the horse, though, right? Yeah, the horse can make the jumps. Okay. <laughs> that makes sense. If you can double jump, you should be able to jump off cliff. Come on, you're magic. You're a magic goat horse. Look at this devil horse. Devil horse. Devil. Yeah, you're right about that. Like, that's why you would have it be a goat, right? Because it can jump up. You can go up cliffs and stuff. Oh, what was that? Oh, okay. Oh, God. Uh, this feels like not a good place for a horse. It's a terrible day for a horse. Get off my horse. Oh my god. This guy. This guy. Oops. I thought I had my, uh, glasses. What about if I just, like, lead him back over here to the camp? Is he gonna mess with these guys, or are they gonna also just kill me? I don't know. Let's see. They're probably just gonna also kill me. You don't care about the big guy? No? Fuck. That was weird. No, that's alright. Just hang out over there. <laughs> Just hang out over there. This guy spins quick. They're not hurting him very much. I don't know if 
if I should be fighting this guy. Maybe. I'm clipping inside of his body. I'm just basically kneecapping him. So, I guess I have this extra thing for spells, but I don't actually have any spells, so. Hit him in the butt! Hit him in the butt! Ah. Yeah. Pull out the sword. Seems like a good idea. Literally. It's just over there, man. I can see it. Oh my gosh. I guess the stream's been mostly stable, so that's good. Oh, that was weird. Load it in before it loads done loading in. Well. Huh. <laughs> Time to kill some guys, I guess. The grass pout popped in while I was standing in it. What the hell? It just feels weird to not be able to shield break, you know? Because normally that's what you would do <laughs> with a guy like that, is you'd like kick his shield, break his shield. But... Um, in any case, since I don't have any magic, I should probably apportion this magic flask to, to, uh, more health. Oh, there's my, uh, those are kind of hard to spot, you know? It's kind of hard to see that. Maybe if you're farther away, it like changes and it's easier to see or something. But... Come at me, bro. No, don't blow your bugle. Oh god. Oh, no. Yeah, this crouch thing is is throwing me off. I'm still, I'm still like used to. Let's, uh, let's, uh, let's just, uh, no, let's, uh, let's just not. Let's get out of here. <laughs> okay. Well, it says I'm supposed to go through there, but... Hey, bro. He killed my horse. It's not a real horse. It's not a real horse. It's not a real horse. It is a real artificial horse. <laughs> ah. That did nothing. It did nothing. There's another nice tree there. There's like a multiple. Trees. That one's the big one, though. That one's the 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 Efa tree. The Efa tree. Efa. Okay. Oh god. So I don't know whether to go where the big guy was. Now I'm just kind of chewing through guys. 
I don't remember how much I needed to level up. How many points I need to level up to make myself a stronger boy? I guess I'm playing as a, a lady. Or as this game said, Type B. <laughs> Uh, a little tough, I gotta say, compared to the little grunts. Uh. Oh my god. I feel like I'm not gonna have much chance with him unless I can parry, which is gonna be really difficult to do uh, with, like, the amount of input lag and low frame rate that I'm dealing with, but it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I'm sure graphics cards will get much cheaper after this war. <laughs> <laughs> She wouldn't be so fat. I'm gonna have to stop feeding you. It's the only way. Okay. Uh oh, it's over there. Yeah, okay. So from further away you can kinda see it, I guess. Oh, it's over near the wallabies. Wallabies. Yeah, it's just when you get close it's kinda hard to see it. Ah! Keep hitting the wrong button. Okay. Five hundred and eighty-four of these suckers. I'm just gonna go this way. Any peaches. Need to uh That looks like a giant so Godric the Golden, humiliated, having tasted defeat by the blade of Mikella, now on his knees, begging for mercy. Okay, that's, that's weird. Godric the Golden. Oh, Godric. Some dead trees over there. That guy through the gate was really tough. I need to level up some. Riding along, petting my cat. Hmm. Hello, you farmers. I do prefer to pick on poor innocent farmers. They're more my speed. <laughs> I got a torch. You let me on fire with it. Can I get your torch? No. Yeah, I just, I like the, 
I like the different like levels of the the grass. It makes it look nice. But you got like small little grass tufts, and then the taller grass. That was some pop in there. I don't know why I'm running along on foot, but... God, so much cat hair! Jesus. Oh... I'm trying to decide how much longer I'm playing, because... I'm going almost two hours. Thought about two hours. That seems like a good time. To, to like play some and just enough to look at it. Um, I can already say I will play more of this. Um, and I can already say that so far I like it. Which is a lot more than I could say about Sekiro, which I did not like. Um, with that said, um, there is a kind of sense of aimlessness uh, that I have so far. Um, which I guess is to be expected. I feel like I'm supposed to go that way, but at the same time, the... The, the, the guy there is pretty, uh, pretty tough. Breaking skulls and getting golden runes. Yeah. I'm just checking it out. I don't, I'm not even past the, I'm not even, like, past the point where I could get a refund if I wanted to. But, uh, but yeah, it's definitely not offending me like Sekiro did. Oh my god, okay. So. These guys look, uh... They look a little tough. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go for this one. I'm gonna acquire his materials! Oh god. Oh no. I got some wolves. I got some wolves. Sorry, I got distracted for a second. Fuck. Fuck. Why are these guys all so tough? Out of fucking I'm out of stuff. I'm gonna have to get out of here. Oh well. Flee! Flee! Is that water? It's like water. I have not tried to swim. I I just was operating under the assumption that if I walk out into the deep water, I die. I have no idea. Whether that's true or not. But, uh, but yeah. Acquire those materials. Crush those skulls. How far can I take it off cliff? Well, that's what I was gonna do, is jump down there. Oh my god. That's freaking morbid. <laughs> Uh, I was gonna jump down there, but it looks like a river. Oh, there's some skeletons or something walking around down there, though. I might be able to. Should I jump? Should I jump it? Should I, should I, should I take my goat off the cliff? My goat horse? Goat horse. Let's go. <laughs> well, it turns out that uh, even goat horse can't uh, can't take every jump. Right, I'm gonna toss this uh, this floof ball. Now I gotta go get my. Uh, Whatever they're called, not souls. Shh, runes? Gotta go get my runes back. Get my runes back! Get back! 
get back to all oh, freaking rooms. Where? Uh. Ah. I have to say, I'm not a huge fan of the whistle not just getting its own button. I feel like it should have its own button. It's kind of weird that it's like just an item like the other items. I guess I didn't think about it. I might be able to assign... Well, no, I don't think that's true. So what... Because the top's probably magic, right? That's how it always is. The top is magic, bottom's items. Yeah, I have to say... I kind of wish it just had its own button. But at the same time, I don't know what they would use because they, you know, we're doing Dark Souls controls, so you already kind of use every button. Uh, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I don't really know what you would use. I guess you could ha not have crouching that they have and just click the left stick in. But, but that seems bad. Where the hell was I? Oh, is that what that is on my map? Is that where my corpse is? Probably what that is, right? Whoops. Yeah, it's weird because you hit that button to get off the horse, but then you don't hit it to get back on, which would feel nice. Use bird's eye telescope. Okay. Let's look through his telescope. Whoa! Okay, that's cool. It said I could zoom in. Oh, there we go. Huh. Yeah, so I was over there. Okay. Yeah, so that's the thing here. There's my... There's my nonsense. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, um, I guess I just feel like so far the things that this is doing to, like, change up the quote-unquote formula are things that I'm liking, uh, whereas Sekiro was, like, not to my taste. not like having a grapple hook. Uh, I didn't like... I, I just... I didn't like the emphasis on parrying to the exclusion of everything else. Um, I'm not particularly good at parrying. So I think it's okay to... Oh, this thing looks... What is this? It's a dung beetle! Ah! <laughs> Kill the dung beetle. It made that sound like the the twinkling titanite uh, titanite bugs did in Dark Souls. Like it's got something good in that dung ball. <laughs> These horse guys are tough. Um, it, it's pretty clear with this game that they took uh, they took uh, a lot of inspiration from Breath of the Wild, which is not bad, obviously. I think if you're making an open world game at this point, it's probably hard to not take inspiration from that. Um, I'm glad that they didn't just copy things from that in the sense that they've kind of done their own thing. It doesn't have climbing, for instance. Oh my god, I gotta get out of here. I just gotta get rid of this stupid, uh, other flask. I mean, I like Breath of the Wild. I'm just, I'm just thinking like, okay, 
So, like everything, everyone is going to copy it until we're sick of it. Um, because that's just how, like, AAA game design works. Somebody does something remotely uh, experimental, like Breath of the Wild having, I don't know, a, a different structure to an open world that's not GTA. Uh, and then everyone will copy it, right? Because it's like, oh, that worked. And at a certain point, everything's going to be like that to the point that you're sick of it. And so I'm just saying that it's nice that they picked some things that I think are appropriate and they didn't just say, well, we should also have a climbing system uh, with the stamina and so you can climb. Wall well, I mean, maybe that can come in later and I'll eat my words, but so far it's like that's not a thing. Um, and I actually kind of appreciate that because that was more like a Sekiro thing with the grappling hook and stuff and being extremely vertical in that way. And... Uh, I don't know, it just... It just feels like the environment doesn't matter if you can just kind of scale everything, I guess. Or like that. Not like Breath of the Wild, but... Is this, is this Death Stranding plus horse? Uh, I don't think it's really anything like Death Stranding. Um, I have to say, I don't think a lot of people are going to copy Death Stranding, although I do like Death Stranding. But it's much more like... Uh, uh, Breath of the Wild Souls. It's much more that. Um, but, uh... But our goat, our goat horse is nice. Um, do you like the goat horse? The goat horse can jump. The goat horse can double jump. <laughs> the only thing better than a jumping horse is a double jumping goat horse. <laughs> so, I have to say that's nice. Um fact that you, the, the, the horse is very, like, direct control, it, it's just sort of like running around, um, which is nice. Uh, you can, you can attack on the horse, although, uh, I've had a hard time trying to use that. Um, you can dismount, uh, uh fairly easily, and, uh, remount, uh, that without like much loss of mobility so that's nice it feels good the the horse feels good but if you want to call it a horse it's a goat horse because it's uh it's got uh some some goat horns and goat ears but it's a horse body red dead souls no pooping as far as i know the goat horse's balls don't shrink in the water um <laughs> what are these? Ruined fragments. There's a lot of these. Pick them up. Pick them up. All right. So the thing I wonder, though, since we died, <laughs> we died jumping off this before. Can I jump and then like double jump and not die? I'm the only one that's criticized. Oh, you've been watching other people play it. I mean, I am a game designer, so. I want to see whether whether I can do that. Can I do... Yeah? Oh, no. It still killed the horse. It didn't kill me, though. Which was something. Oh, no. I'm getting invaded by Bloody Finger Norregis. Not not a real player. I'm not playing online. I turned that shit off. Hey, look, it's one of the guys. You can tell they're invading because they're glowing horribly red. Well, that didn't last long. Bounced off Dark Souls 3. Couldn't get into it, but you really appreciate the series. Did you play the first one? Or did you just play 3? I know a lot of people played 3 and did play the first one because like, it seemed like... I, I, I guess from an outside perspective, like Dark Souls 3 looks nice. Uh, and the first game kind of doesn't look so nice anymore. Um, 
I mean, it never really looked great. Um, I just think it's, like, a beautiful game because... I don't know, I like the game so much. Um, anyway, I gotta get my, uh... Get my not souls, my runes, my runies. <laughs> Tried Dark Souls One PC port was so janky, got most of the sickness. Oh uh, yeah, the you, the uh, the remaster of it is the way to go with that. The remaster is the way to go with that one. Thankfully, that is there because that PC port was terrible. One of the all-time worst. This PC port, um, I've noticed some weird graphical bugs. Sometimes the grass, like, pops in even when you're standing in it, which is weird. Um, early on, there was some, like, real bad streaming lag, but, uh, but now it's actually okay. Oh, well, the problem is I'm going to have to go back down there. God damn it. Hopefully I don't get invaded again. Show my... It does show it on the map. Okay. So there's, like, some little odd things. Like, I don't particularly like that you hit the button to bring up the map, and if you hit the same button, it brings up this instead of dismissing the map. That's weird. This does look like Breath of the Wild. Yeah, it is... Uh, I guess I just say that, like... I mean, it's an open-world game, right? So it's kind of Dark Souls-y, but open-world. Um... But it is taking more of a Breath of the Wild type approach to that in that it just kind of is throwing you in this world and... Um, there's a couple things that it does that are like new. There's like when you're at your, your not bonfires, your... Uh, what do they call them? <laughs> I can't remember. Um, uh, the, the, there's like a little wind thing that's like drifting away from there that I guess is like your next main objective or whatever. It like points in that direction which is kind of interesting. Um, well, I know I went down here, so let's try it again. Yeah, so the horse does not survive. So here's my thing. Let's hope I don't get invaded again by this guy down here. Whoops, that's... Oh, well, we're getting invaded again. Uh, so it said before that I needed to use one of these. That didn't work. Maybe I have to wait a minute. Wind is waypoint thing. Was that a thing in something? I, I don't know. I, I've only ever seen it in this, so. This looks like a dude. Are you gonna hurt me? No. Just join the fray. Cool hat. Oh, okay. this lake is um yeah i mean I, I said it earlier but since garrett's here uh oh uh i like this a lot more than sekiro this does not make the mistakes that sekiro made like sekiro is just i don't even know what they were thinking i i have to think it was something to do with activision and but the way that they, like, front-loaded that game with so much crap popping up on the screen trying to explain everything, it was just really annoying. And 
game. This game basically doesn't explain anything. <laughs> so that's good. This thing takes so many hits. Um, though there was like a, a shopkeeper earlier that like they had, and maybe this is from something else, but they had a thing where you could like ask the shopkeeper for a recommendation and he would tell you like something he thought you should buy and why you should buy it. Um, so I thought that was cool. Oh. These guys are kind of weird looking. Because that was like a way to opt into some more tutorialization, I guess, right? Oh no. Oh no. No! Not reviving skeletons. Oh. Uh, can we... I guess I can get my horse back now. Can we like, uh, can we like jump, bro? Yeah. Okay. You can jump, bro. Yay, horsey. <laughs> oh god, it's a bear. <laughs> There's a bunch of bears over here. Okay. Uh, should I try to kill the bear? Maybe I should try to kill the bear. There's a bunch of them. That's a big ass bear. There's like a weird dragonfly here too. Where's the dragonfly go? Oh, there we go. Mm. Mm. Come on now. Get over here. Come here and die already. <laughs> God damn it. Alright, fine. They could totally do a Dark Souls fighter. Well, you can do PvP, right? So. Like, that's already kind of a thing. I just don't really like multiplayer, so. Oops. Ah! <laughs> this was a bad idea! This is a mistake! This is a mistake! Hit the wrong button again. Keep doing sneak mode. I don't know whether that has some utility. I feel like it feels like there's some vestiges in here of Sekiro, which may be like good things for like Sekiro players, right? Like if some of those mechanics are in there, like the sneaking backstab stuff, then that might be something that those people would want. You could like pick a samurai at the start of the game as one of the classes. So. <sighs> okay, God. God, I think I gotta win. Always play flying beasts near a cliff, yeah. I I prefer to fight enemies where they have the advantage. Makes things more interesting. Yeah. So that was my health. I don't know why I thought that was the horse's health. That was my health. Oh, is this Pot Boy? Is this Pot Boy? He sounds like he's down there. Hello? Oh no, it's this guy. Someone who might be interested in rescuing the great Kenny fight. You come to lend me your aid, have you? Well, that's that's very kind, but uh, no, huh? no, the help is very much appreciated, oh. even from a tarnished. Despite appearances, nobility is no prerequisite for serving the true order. <coughs> might have heard of me, Kenneth Height. Next in line is the guy's racist against me. Young tarnished. I would have a boon of you. I want you to take back my fort. It lies to the south, beyond the mist. A knight commander from Stormbell took it. A fool, and from that to boot. Simply obsessed with blood. 
Okay. What are you waiting for? The kiss goodbye. My fault lies to the sun beyond the mystery. Okay. I feel like you're gonna give me like nothing. You're gonna give me like a peck on the cheek and be like, oh thank you. Oh. Uh so um I feel like I should put like a thing here. I don't know, let's put like a I don't, I don't really know how that type of thing works in this game. It seems like pretty much it's what it looks like, which is basically like I just need to mark where that guy was and I can come back to him later. Um, which is pretty lightweight to say the least. Yeah, I don't know what I don't know what's going on with like enemies when they get further away and like the way the they get all weird looking. If I had to guess, it's probably something to do with like the game trying to filter out aliasing as things get further away, so it like gets more aggressive for stuff that's further away than any aliasing. Oh god. Oh dear. I need to use these uh these runes, these not souls. Hey you eh, eh. Yeah, you. I'm talking to you. <laughs> I gotta learn how to hit the right side of the horse. Okay. I said I might stop after two hours, but I don't know. I'm still playing. It's fun. Herba. Herba mate. Herba mate T. Uh, okay. So I'm supposed to go south. I guess. Yeah, like, I mean, they're definitely doing... Well, I don't know. I guess the foliage looks kind of weird, but not too bad. Excuse me, I'm sorry. I'll fix that, Grandpa, don't worry. Um... I think I'm supposed to go up there. I'm supposed to go somewhere. I need to find another dang old uh, grace. That's what they're called. Good lord. That's what they call them. The not bonfires. Because I kept saying, reach out and touch grace. <laughs> oh. oh, it's one of the dung beetle things. Come here, Mr. Dung Beetle. Come here! Come here to me. Come here to me! You're not gonna get away from me that easily. Give me what's in that dung ball. Okay. So it just replenishes my uh, flasks. That's kind of. That's kind of crappy. This is weird. Um. Everything wants to kill me. It's like a little bit unclear why. I guess the birds don't want to kill me, but. Anything else? 
Wants to kill me. Hey, a little wallaby. So earlier, the little wallabies led me to one of these things, but I don't know if they actually do, or if that was just a coincidence. Yeah, sometimes the grass pops in like that. It's just kind of hopping along. I hear this weird sparkling sound. I'm not sure what that is. over there earlier. Huh. Yeah, these these weird these weird ruins. They're just kinda everywhere. Just like scattered all over the place. Hmm. There's a big old tree there. I want to get back to... I guess I can warp to one. I don't know why I'm, I'm so worried about that. I can literally just go bring up the map and be like, Hey, bro. <laughs> I forgot about that. Um, yeah. I mean, as somebody who really went into this game pretty skeptical, uh, I'm enjoying it, so that's good. Um, it's going to need to do a hell of a lot more than this to, to compare to Dark Souls to me. But Oh, I got two levels. Okay. Okay! Uh, what are we going to do here? I guess this is a dex weapon that I have. That's weird. I didn't think about that this class is a dex class. I guess that's not a huge deal. Um, let's go... Let's see. So how do these work? Vigor, HP, Mind, FP. Don't really care about that. Oh, this just says also affects focus. What is focus? This other guy's been playing almost as long as you, and I've discovered, I've discovered a couple more things. The goat being the main thing. Doing great. Yeah, that seemed to just be either I have to stay at the that particular little um, grace. Is that what these things are called? I can't remember. I have to stay at that one, I think, or I just have to do it more than a certain amount of times. I don't know what focus is. That's interesting. Now, focus is over here. Focus. Resistance to sleep and bouts of madness. Okay. Higher the number, the lower your susceptibility governed by your attributes as well as defensive gear and any additional effects. Sleep. Bouts of madness. Okay. I don't know what that means. Uh, endurance. Attribute governing stamina. I haven't really had a problem with stamina so far. I just feel like I'm not doing enough damage, and I'm taking too much damage. 